everyone, Vase of here. Welcome back to a Wednesday stream. We're going to be playing some more of this game. Can't fall as pillow of the earth. Um, it's doing a weird thing where it doesn't squish, but whatever, it's fine. Um, uh, sorry, we slided slightly, slided slightly slate. Am I having a stroke? Um, starting slightly late, like by 40 seconds. Big deal. But I wanted to hear if there was going to be a big drop at the end of the song, which there wasn't, but whatever, it's fine. I uh, did we start book two yesterday? I don't remember if we started book two yesterday or if we ended off before we started it. So I guess we'll find out. Where it's cold down here. My name is Aliena of Shire. Oh hey, do I get to play her now? I'm the daughter of the Earl Bartholomew of Shiring. He did. At least I used to be. Before my father was arrested for conspiring. Holy crap! The it's cold down here. refused to marry took control of everything no hamley really including ourselves what a piece of shit is that the castle they were building Yo, I do what I like. what's up syria welcome to the stream my dude oh flashback what happened i didn't see that Oh. Where's the girl? She is where you put her, you fiend. <laughs> Once the king finds out. How's your morning going, my man? Here's the key. Now go get her. I'm starving. Oh, I hate that motherfucker. Why didn't you give me the option to stab him? I'm very upset. I like that I get to play her. At least for now. Still kind of worried. He has me sleep here while Richard has changed to the stables. I'd, I'd rather be there than this close to William. There's not even like hay or anything here. What a dick. My lady, are you awake? My robes, my dress is all William gone. Is Took them. She wanted them re -sewn. May I enter? you want i'm gonna get it the fuck out of here bro can't sleep <laughs> i'm doing just fine just playing some story game before we start whatever we're starting next Please, week you mustn't make him wait don't tell me what to do he's a piece of shit i'll stab him okay there must be something i'm missing is there there he is door you may come in taking so long i will kick him in the dick God, did he hit you? Well, I suppose he's getting more daring now that his father is about to see the king. This is taking too long. Go get them. Uh, uh, let me stab him. My lady, I must ask you, do not provoke him. Not yet. Not until you're properly armed. Did you get weapons? How's my brother? How is Richard? They treated like a dog. I gave him a cloak so he wouldn't have to freeze through that storm. Oh, that's awful. There are weapons hidden in the yard. What's up, Moira? Welcome to the stream. Near the gate. Look for a red piece of cloth. Red piece of cloth near a gate. No okay, we're gonna stab the shit out of him. And don't cause any trouble. I just clean my sword. Red cloth near a gate. Stab a bitch. A generous bestowal. A generous bestowal. Three dollars in a game called Shenmue. I've heard of that game. Did you have fun with it? I was unfortunately unable to drop in your stream today. Uh, today was the day. With work and stuff. Free from capitalism, hell. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> you got off work early today, then. <gasps> and Mario, you beautiful bee. Thank you so much for the 750 bitties. Thank you so much for the bitties. Tato. Hey. Tato one cookie. Wake up. Tato. Mama. Hey. There you go, one cookie. Here you go, get it. There you go. Oh, and another cookie. Here you go. Yeah. Get another one. I'm just chucking them over to Mama's. <laughs> hey, Pancake, what's going on? Also, that thing with the... The italics is Twitch's wonderful new, totally asked for fucking 
change to the system which nobody was asked for and it's stupid it makes no sense you know let's not crack down on the spam the tw uh the spam bots the spam in general the racist tweets the any it, or not tweets the racist screen names or any of that bullshit. let's make change it so slash me does italics now instead of color that's so fucking stupid. Nobody asked for that. And they said, oh, yeah, you asked for it. Nobody asked. Show us who asked. And on top of that, it's like, well, it's to cut down on the spam and the fake dono messages. I'm like, it doesn't change it. It doesn't change it. Now, my bot has not changed. Literally, it says so-and-so donates, right? Before, it would do in the slash me command, it would change it to the color of the bot. And if it was a fake donation, I would just know it was because obviously an alert didn't come off. But, you know, that gets you once as a streamer. And they're like, ah, it'll cut down. It's like, okay, but new streamers are going to come in with fucking italics. And they're... It, it's no fucking different, dude. It's no different. There is no difference. It's still going to fool people. Be it a, it's a different color or it's italics. It does the exact same thing. It was unbelievably like the stupidest change ever there was it solved nothing it's gotta cut down on spam how it's the same fucking thing it's just now italics instead of a color there's no difference and now the problem is i'm going a little rant here streamers and viewers i don't know about you guys but when i go into a, like a new stream and stuff when i see a colored line i think it's a bot message so i Check it out. I see what it's about. I Maybe it's something important about their stream. Maybe it's something the mods have to say. Now now people... Uh, it's so fucking stupid. The, what I... Honestly, honestly, guys, what I think the, the, the change of this was... It wasn't to cut down on spam and fakeness. Well, I'm sliding in my chair. It was literally to get people to use the highlight my message in chat. Channel points re redemption. That's the only reason I can see it being justified because because that will actually highlight your message, right? Before you would like just do slash me and then it works fine. But now that they got rid of that and they changed it to italics, it just looks like normal text, which is harder to read for some people that don't have good eyesight. It's oh, it's it's fucking stupid. It's unbelievable. It makes zero sense. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm actually probably going to go respond to their tweet and like this this doesn't do anything because now people are just going to get used to italics being bot messages so people can then again still fool the streamer it's Damn. so fucking stupid oh god i hate it so much anyways i'm catching up on chat sorry off work time been staying late a lot recently uh oh are you just catching up on work stuff well i'm glad you're you're gotten off work at a normal time aura hopefully you can get some you time excuse me Tired had to redo classrooms to get them ready for testing. Co COVID protocols. Oh, boy. Did you have to, like, disinfect the whole thing? Hey, Space, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. How's you guys going? I can, I can words. Yeah, the whole italics thing makes act actual no sense. I want to stab this motherfucker. Just because I allowed you to sleep in my room doesn't mean you can make yourself cozy in there. Ugh, what's with your face? I'm going to stab you. Your arrogance makes you ugly. Did you know that? Really, Mr. Arrogant piece of shit? You're the most arrogant person, motherfucker. You reap what you sow. I want to stab you reap him. What you sow. Oh, he got scared because I'm... There are a few things I would like to sow. Ooh! She didn't mean it. Your father will be the new Earl soon. This castle will be yours. There's no need to keep the lady and her brother hostage. Maybe you should consider <laughs> letting us go. Oh, I'm gonna murder him. Boy, Walter. Looks like the princess needs a servant to do her talking. Can't imagine why I ever wanted to marry that ugly girl. Um, mm. A real lady. That's what I deserve. Maybe even Empress Maud. Cool, let me go. Yes, That's Maud would ever marry but I will keep on fucking her. Why don't we start right here? I'm gonna fucking murder him! Don't. Not until your father's spoken to the king. I'm... You go. Go outside. Get some air. Yeah. 
Let me go find those things. All right. All right. I shall do so gladly. Anything you need, William? Stab to the face. Get me something to eat. I'm oh, guys, I'm going to feel so good when I murder the now. shit out of this piece of shit. Oh, I can't. Mm. I'm. Mm. He's next level. You have them set six feet apart and six feet away from the other distance. We don't have plexiglass shields that would allow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That sucks, pancake. I'll get him some food. I'm going to lace it with a razor blade. Piece of shit. I always told you your stubbornness would be your end. <sighs> Where is the gate? Gate. Walk up the walls to the keep storeroom. Wall. Hello. Hey, Richard. What are you... Oh, that's my brother. I gotta go talk to him. Richard, did they let you go? Have you sided with them? Don't be ridiculous. I will never succumb to these beasts. Beasts? That's a bit rude. Really? Have you seen my red scarf? Have you seen my red scarf? Is that all you worry about? I, it's I think Matthew had it last. The stabby! He lost it somewhere. Then ask him. Fuck, I'm man. busy trying to come up with a plan. All right, how are you managing? How are you Sarah, managing? how's it going? I'd be managing a lot better if you gave me a sword. I'm looking for one. <laughs> Did he say something funny? That boy with a sword. Look at his back. He can barely lift his own head. Teach a chicken to fight. Might as well just step on it. Uh, you really haven't seen my scarf? You really Cookie time. Seen What's my up, Yuri? Professional the nonsense. Mamas! Mamas! Alright, got it. I'll be back soon. Ha! Landed Do on her so. face. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Fuck. Alright, I need to find Matthew hid some weapons next to a piece of red cloth. Okay. Uh can I go over here? What's this? My dog! My dog! Flemish, here, girl. Let me pet. Don't you recognize me? Oh. Oh, oh I was going to be girl. very upset. It must be hard to catch my scent in this rain. He's a puppy. I was going to be very upset. Nothing in there but filthy water. Okay, it's fine. The storeroom is to your left. Oh, not shut up. Yard. I'm looking for... Stabby bits, man. Chill. What standards do professionals have? Well, the good thing about standards Nothing. is there's so many to choose Maybe from, right? <laughs> you meant the other gate. I can't get to the other gate. This piece of shit, right? Maybe I can get him to leave. What do they pay you? You will go to hell for this. Please let us go. Don't act as if you've never had a heart. I see how kindly you treat his horse. You want me to let you go? Yes. Of course. It would be the proper thing to do. There is no humane reason for keeping us locked up. Can't. Why not? Because Bartholomew is still Earl. Can't have his brats running around causing a ruckus. I don't get paid to be careless. You will go to hell for this. I'm just gonna leave. Can I go up the wall here? You heard me. Stay yeah. where I can see you. Fuck. How? Okay, there's gotta be something here. Ew. Hey, that looks like red. Oh. It looks like red stabby stuff. It smells horrible in here. Oh, there's some over there too. Rotten meat, spoiled cabbages, cloth. Yes. Let's see. Stabby time. Fuck. A loaf of bread. And it doesn't look as bad as everything else in here. Son of a bitch. Take the bread. Oh. 
old onions, rotting apples, flour. It's in the barrel. Oh, a dead chicken. What a horrible smell. Someone must have trapped it in here for fun. Man, people are fucked. What a waste. Yeah, okay. Rotten meat, rotten apples. There's gonna be Meal maggots. In, or, yep. Fuck. Piece of red cloth. That's. Is that not red? What about this? No, there are no weapons here. And no sign of my red scarf. Fuck. I need to find my stab. Must have hidden them somewhere else. Fuck. They should be here. This was red. Fuck. Hey, Dougie. Oh shit. Okay. Nothing in there but filthy water. Huh? Have you seen? Where is that red scarf, Matthew? Can I give the bread to the doggies? Poor girl, you must be starving. Here, eat this. Yeah, fuck off, you guys. I gave the I know dog you food. Prefer meat, but that's all I can give you. I probably should have gave her meat, but it was all rotting. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. What am I supposed to give William now? You can eat the dead chicken. Fuck you, William. I don't care. I kept my doggy alive. Old onions. Not even worth trying. It's obvious these are inedible. I'm not putting my hand in there. Disgusting. Okay. These are all rotten. Mm hmm. Well, there's no food for you, ass monkey. Fuck, dude. I don't know where my my stabby tools are. Do they keep? All right. Nothing. Maybe Fuck. Matthew meant the other gate. Yeah, I can't get to the other gate though. You know there is no more food. You raided our cellars after. You'll find so. There's literally nothing, bro. Matthew must have hidden them. Fuck. All right, you you have to let me go. You have to let me go. Well, even if you leave, <gasps> I can't leave him. I'm not leaving him. Oh God, this is frustrating already. Well, even. Shut I up. Can't. Are you hungry? Very. They haven't given me anything to eat since yesterday. Fuck. All right. Fuck. All right. Well, literally nothing I can do. Did you get what he asked for? No. Yes. Wait. Good. Don't waste his time then. What? You're a bitch. I hate you. Matthew. He's all right. Now get some food, will you? There isn't any. What kind of food do you want? You could start by bringing me some meat. Cool. There's some spoiled meat. Do that. Oh, what's this? Bowls. Here you go. Ugh. Can I poison him? That'd be almost better. If 
If you're cold, come sit on my lap. Fuck you. Stab the shit out of you. Just you wait. Mm. Oh, chest. Why am I fooling myself? There is nothing left. Where? William. Damn it. Dude, I have no idea what to do. All right, let's just go get him a fucking chicken, I guess. Ew. Ew. Ooh. Ew. Old meat teaming with maggots and mold. Can't do the barrel. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. The thing respawned. Time out. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Son of a bitch. All right. Is dude still here? Brought you some meat, you piece of shit. Hurry up, will you? I'm starving. Come over here, maybe? Even the mold has started rotting. Even the mold it's has... It's fine. Whatever. All right. Maybe I can just let that beast starve. Hurry up, will you? <sighs> well, I told you, get me fuck off. Is he going to make me pick it up? No, the room smells bad enough all uh, Eat this. Eat this, asshole. Your food. <laughs> what is this? Ew. This is all I found. This is all I found. Punch him in the nose. You really think you can play your silly games with me? I am still the daughter of the Earl. And by the law of the King, you are my subject. Oh, my. Forget what I said about your arrogance. It actually makes you quite pretty. Let's kick him right in the dick. Huh? In the name of my father, you will die for this! He got free? Wait, Mr. what? Richard, don't! Oh shit. No shit. Stupid boy. How did Almost you get free? As stupid as his sister. How did you get free? I'd rape you if I could. Triggers, by the way. But you're not my kind of lass. What's with her? She dead? Leave her. The king has not yet spoken. Why did he wait till your father is an earl proper? Then you can do with her whatever you want. Damn! Did he let the, the kid go on purpose? She's so ugly, no one would ever want to take her anyway. Put them with the animals until the king has decided. Ugh. Ugh. I... Let me murder him. I... Mm, I cannot wait. I hope it's just like it's a quick time event where I can just keep stabbing. Just let me go ham. Champion! Just draw.
dropping channel points like it's... I don't know. Jesus. You've tried to contribute to 12k to three different things? You're a legend. It's not even registering or like rendering the little bar where I get to see the progress. That's annoying. Well, thank you so much, my friend. I'm happy to see that you guys are looking forward to those. I, uh, gotta get some paints and stuff. Hopefully we can, uh, figure some stuff out here in the short term. Okay, so that that must have been the prologue. Now do I get to stab the stabby thing? Or find the stabby thing? Is he gonna get gangrene on the face? Can't tell if that's a shadow or if that's cloth. Or shoe. It's just out of reach. Wake up. Hammer. It's too high. I'm chained to a post. I can't reach it. If only it was closer. Horse. Wake up, stupid. Richard. Richard. Wake up. Wake up! Come on, I need you to wake up! Wake up! Hey! Kick Ali. me that thing! Ali, my ear! How do you feel? How do you feel? Hot. The wound is boiling your blood. We need to get you someplace dry and cool so you can heal. Ali, they shackled us. I will die here. Calm down. You'll only make things worse. How did you free yourself? How did you free yourself before? I don't know. When they put me here, they had the shackles fitted to my ankles. But today, I somehow managed to slip through. Lost with some weight. Three weeks must have made me very determined. Yes, and very thin. <laughs> we'll get out of here. I think the Lord Richard is alive. Hey. It's just out of reach. Yeah, tell him to do it. Richard. Aha! Throw me that horseshoe. It's not hard enough to break the chain. I already tried. I'll think of something. Just give it to me. And then we're gonna hit the hammer. Thanks, buddy. You can go take a nap again. All right. Can I bop this? Please don't lose it. Why is that moving so creepily slow? Yes, I'm the best at this game. Wait, what? The whole circle has to be in it. Okay. It's not DVD. I'm free, motherfucker! I'll open yours next. Also, I just got notified that one of my friends started streaming. So, if you guys stick around, we'll have to go probably send some raid love her way. She's a cool bean. Yes, good idea. But first we need the weapon. I don't know how long she's gonna stream for though, so. If we calm William's horse, we could flee. All right. 
talk to the keep. All right. Uh, we do I have to give him a, a rotten apple. I don't want to feed him a rotten apple. Hugh Axe. Hey, buddy. Those guys worry me. I see no red cloth. Ugly. Gervais. Where is that red? Where's the red scarf? No, there are no weapons here. Motherfucker. There's no red scarf anywhere. No. Maybe we can. It has to be the. Fuck. They lie. I don't want to talk to these guys. They have me worried. No, I'm not talking to them. Those guys, I'm certain will turn me in. Oh, 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 your boy. I'm not going to walk in front of them. That has me scared. Going up this way. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. I have to say, that yes. was a bit short. Being from a politically ambitious noble family, William Hamley commands a small army of his own. He likes to keep his three most trusted men by his side, Walter, Hugh Axe, and the ugly Gervais. The latter two are knights known for their violence and loyalty. Their names alone strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. Of their enemies, Walter was once William's instructor and taught him to fight and rode since William was a boy. Now Walter is his bodyguard and right-hand man. The knights weren't prepared and the peasants scattered like Yeah, so I don't want to deal with those dudes. I found it. Matthew's piece of cloth. What? Why? Okay, I didn't have to do anything for it. Okay, I got a dagger. Let me go stab the bitch. Oh. Can I sneak by him? Please take us away from here. Head it. Go horse. Careful. He doesn't seem to like that. He doesn't like being pet. I, I want to keep the saddlebag, though. Whoa. Easy. Shit. Easy now. What are you doing? The horse nearly woke the guard. The knot is too tight. Fuck. I'm worried that... One, the horse is trained, like, as a war horse to be like, I don't know who the fuck you are, leave me alone. Two, I'm going to try to cut the saddlebag loose, and I'm actually going to cut the horse. Fuck. Mm-mm. Go get him a bad apple. Uh, I don't want to give him a bad apple. Now it's locked. How do we get out of here? I don't want to murder this guy. I hate this. Oh, it didn't give me a, an event. Thank God. Some oh, I found a William setup back. Thank God. All right, here you go. Oh, you look hungry. Want to eat? Here you go, buddy. Yes, snackums. 
It's calm now. Try to mount it, Richard. But where do we go? To Winchester, of course. We need to find Father and talk to the King. They must find out what's happening here. Now climb on. It won't eat forever. My brother's gonna get murdered. Now me. Oh boy. Oi! You there! Stop! Don't make it. Oh, I got out. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't hear like an axe sound. Being chased. Right into the forest. Here we go. The thought that they could catch up with us urged me to ride onward. It rained relentlessly. After a while, Richard's moaning got weaker. But I did not dare look back, for I feared to see William Hamley right at our heels. I forced the horse to go faster, hoping that my brother would not succumb to his wounds. We headed toward Winchester. The King would make things right if we explained them to him. He had to. It wasn't long until Richard almost fell off the horse. Oh boy. Touching his forehead, I realized he had a high fever. His mutilated ear was red, hot, and swollen. A sound startled me. From the thicket of the forest emerged a woman. I was ready to draw the dagger that was flush against my forearm. I asked her to give us her name. This was her forest, she said, so we should be the ones introducing ourselves. It's not dude's mom, is it? This doesn't I look like her. I was the daughter of Silhouette the Earl of Shiring, traveling with my brother. I can tell your nobility by your manners. She smiled and revealed in turn that she was the wife of the local oh. verderer. Seeing Richard's ear, she said that he needed help. Luckily, that oh, was cool. nearby. It's a kind person. She offered us food, shelter, and care. Trust her to help Richard. Oh, man. Richard might lose his ear, but at the same time, we don't get caught. Sorry, we're riding on. I told her that we were expected by relatives. Richard only understood what I was trying to do when I gave him an urgent look. Then we left at a trot. I turned my head when I heard a whistling from behind. At that moment, something jumped in front of us. Oh, no. Richard and I were pulled off the saddle and landed in the cold mud. Oh, no. It was a man I'd never seen before. I jumped up to defend myself, but was stopped by the cold blade of the woman's knife against my throat. She'd caught up with us and hadn't come to help. When she started searching me for valuables, I took the chance to reach for my own dagger. I was right. She then stopped and stepped slowly backwards to join the man. After they mounted the horse we'd stolen from William, they rode off. Cool, dude. That actually might have helped. I knew that I couldn't catch up with them, so I remained, shaken by what had happened. As I calmed down, I started to feel the bruises of the fall and a great tiredness. Richard was still lying in the mud, so I pulled him away from the road. Oh, to boy. shelter underneath a tree. Engine's fever. I placed my hand on his forehead and felt that he was still burning up. Even the freezing night couldn't cool him down. Yet he insisted that he be fine. Oh boy. No matter what I told him, he wouldn't hear any of it. A wound like this was nothing to a real man, he said. He was tired of being treated like a helpless child. We huddled together and rested. He's gonna all, die. So we could walk on in the morning. We walked for two more bird. days with only brief rests in between, but we finally arrived at the city gates of Winchester. 
Richard was weak, but at least we were still together, and we were sure that together we would find a way to escape this nightmare. Hope so. Woo! Facing William, you let Matthew speak for you. You provoked William by serving him rotting meat. You successfully escaped Earl's castle. You didn't trust the woman on the road. Richard's wounds got worse while you rode. Yeah. That was uh, to be expected. We made it. They can't harm us anymore, can they? Uh, after all, there are laws in place to protect us here, mm. right? I think so. But we shouldn't risk finding out. Yep. Then let's go. Where are you going? To our townhouse, of course. No. It's gonna be the first place they look. <coughs> Where's father? Oh God. House, tavern, inn, house. Oh my God. Mint. Mint? Cathedral, tavern, church. Oh my god. I doubt they're keeping him there. Father isn't here. Okay, cool. I don't have to run. I doubt they're keeping him there. Father isn't here. I doubt they The gates are closed. The gates closed. Father isn't he? I doubt they're keeping him there. Oh shit, it's fine. Father isn't he? I doubt they're keeping. Come on, dude. Father isn't he? Are you sure? The gates are closed. Okay. Guess we go over here. This used to be our house. Uh huh. Ali, there's someone here. Maybe it's father. I don't think so. Do you think so? Well, they must have put him somewhere. Leave. I have a bad feeling about this. Come now, before anyone sees us here. This used to be our house. The gates closed. Can we go to the church then? Father, may we come in? I can hear someone. Hello? We're lost and looking for shelter. They don't seem to want us here. Cathedral? It's so quiet. Shouldn't the monks be preparing evening mass soon? What's mint? It's all locked and barred. They don't want strangers walking in at night. Ali, this is pointless. There must be one kind soul in this town. What is it? Yo. Oh, uh, good evening. Um, we're sorry to disturb you, but my brother and I have been through a lot and desperately need shelter for tonight. Hmm. Please. Wait here. Are you mad? Do not let them in. They're thieves. What did I say? Oh. Give them something to trade, man. There's a warm corner in the back. Oh, oh. You can have a blanket, but there will be nothing to eat. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a kind man. Oh, 
Holy shit. Ah, you just disappeared. When I woke up that morning, I was alone. I hoped that Richard had risen early. Maybe Damn it, Richard, you're going to get us caught, my dude. I left to search for him right away. Okay. Uh Shit. Hey. <laughs> group of nobles, another group of nobles. Richard? Oh, it's you. You're up already. Of course I'm up. And what were you thinking running away like that? Shh, hush, Ali. The people are watching us. How's your ear? Actually, they're ignoring us. Yeah, don't fucking run off. Don't you ever do this again. I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to the king before you were. Yeah, you fucking idiot. I did so much yesterday. I didn't want to wake you. Please. Don't be All right, cross. he did it at a good place, but you're going to get a stop. That was stupid. We must stick together. That was sweet, but also very stupid. Yeah. That was sweet, but also very stupid. Yeah. That was sweet of you, but also very stupid. Did you talk to the king? No, I... I haven't tried yet. I was feeling too dizzy. My whole head hurts, even my teeth. Let us do it together, shall we? Uh, right now? I doubt they're keeping him there. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Better not. Okay, well, let me do that. That old man had quite a bit of fight in him, I heard. They whipped him for days. And when it was over, he just asked for a mug of wine. Didn't beg, but asked, hurry up, I'm thirsty. Like it was some Holy kind crap, of what a beast. something. Makes you wish he was still on our side. What a shame. Is that about my dad? My Father dad isn't here. And where do you think you're going, my girl? We're here to petition the king. Let us pass. Hugh, wearing a pair of clogs that my gran would be ashamed of? I don't think so. Get out of my way, guard. Every citizen has the right to petition the king. But the poorer sort are generally not foolish enough to exercise that right. You're talking to the son of the Earl of Shiring. I'm his daughter. If you don't let us pass, we'll have you locked away and make you rot in a dungeon. Oh, oh your sorry. Father, you mean? Oh, snap. What? You know where he is? Of course. And you should too, if you're who you say you are. He's in the jail right here in the castle. Yeah. How do we get Figured there? Figured that. Go left before the gate and cross I the I tried yard. to do that. You'll need to talk to the jailer, though. His name is Odo, and he's got deep pockets. Shit. Deep pockets? Well, you lower sort cannot expect any favors for nothing. Better get used to it if you want to survive. Shit. No, oh, I didn't want to click on them. I know them. This is all such nonsense. Maud as queen. Maud. What was the old man thinking? I believe he just got too comfortable with King Henry. On our way here, we heard to stare at an inn. They made us eat peasant food. Oh, dear. Oh, well, not a pinch of meat. Isn't there a law against that? Oh, fucking rich people, man. Did you like what you saw, mistress? Of course not. But my husband seems to be in good health. I hope it'll stay that way. I hope Where so, are you? too. But, you know, nowadays, good food is just so hard to come by. Oh, you're so kind. That'll help to keep him fed for a while, surely. Take good care of him. I'll be at the market. The shitty part is we'll he's just do. probably pockets that good doesn't business, change mistress. feeding them at all. 
What are you staring at? Your ear. You should take better care of yourself. Here, we should go wash that out with clean water. What was that all about? I don't know, but we have our own problems. So come on. Clean water? You're a good horse, and so calm. I can tell the king's men are far better caretakers than the Hamleys. Hi, dude. I'm here to see my dad. Um, uh, are you the jailer? Oh. My dad. Your humble servant. What is it? We're... We're here to see our father. He is the Earl of Shiring. Is he? Look like just plain Bartholomew to me. So he's here. Look at us when we're talking to you. How much have you got? We've nothing. So don't bother asking for a bribe. Man, you can't see your father. Sorry. Who was that woman? Um, who was that woman? That'll be two pennies. What? Ah, gotcha. <laughs> That's Meg. Her husband tried to trick a fellow merchant out of his purse. Wasn't good at it. Now he's lost everything. Then where does she get all her coin? She took over his business. Works as a merchant at the market. Funny that she still cares so much for him. I wouldn't. I'll get you a penny. I'll get a penny, and I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. But won't you let us see him now, just for a few moments? Get the penny first. Shouldn't be too hard. One of you must be worth something. Fuck. How is he? Just tell me that, please. Is he all right? No, he's not. He's dying. Now get out of here. Uh oh. We need to get some water for my brother's ear, dude. Are you crying? Didn't you hear what he said? Yes, but he was lying. The last time we saw Father, he was very much alive and healthy. Sometimes I wonder what yeah, is bro. going on in that head of yours. You not know what happens so in the how jail? Are we going to get a penny? We could beg. Beggars usually ask for food or clothes. I never heard of anyone giving them money. Well, how do people get money? The king gets Fucking money rich taxes, people problems, lords man. Lords have rents, priests have tithes, shopkeepers have something to sell, craftsmen get wages, and peasants don't need money because they have fields. Apprentices get wages too. So do laborers. We could work. But Ali, I can't work like a common man. I'm the son Oh, of by the way, guys, I got a Not clip anymore. of that. You heard what the uh, said. Subtitle you know than weird else, blooper so. thing that we saw last night. I'm I'm <laughs> That was interesting to see. 33 34 You sure this is right? Don't patronize me, Meg. I just want to be certain. See? You've nothing to worry about. Your business will be in good hands. Excuse me, mistress. Oh, I've seen you before. You're going to see someone in the jail, right? It's the only explanation why they'd let you enter the courtyard dressed like that. That wasn't very nice. What is it? We're looking for work. The jailer refused to let us see our father unless we paid him. Could you offer us some work? Do you even know what business I'm in? Wool. This is a wool stall, isn't it? And what do wool merchants do? Sell wool? Mm. No. Well, yes, in the end we do, but first we buy it from the peasants. The peasants bring the wool and the Flemish take it away. All I have to do is store and transport it and get the prices right. And that is cheaper if it's done alone. With some minor help from me, that is. Can you lend us some money? <laughs> Could you lend us some money? Unlikely. What for? We need to talk to our father. He's a prisoner in the castle's jail. And the jailer won't let us see him until we give him a penny. Once you get back to him, it'll be two pennies at least. What are you saying? Once Odo sees that you really want something, he'll start overcharging for it. In the end, he's just another businessman. But 
this rate, we'll never see Father. Could you help us talk to him? Ah, uh, sorry, but no. What were you doing at the jail? Oh, uh, what were you doing at the jail? I'm sorry, I, like these piggies. I didn't mean to pry. Here. You know, my husband is a prisoner as well. He used to run this business, but he was caught selling underweight. Now I have to travel to Flanders and tell my husband's agents that they don't need to worry. Can we do that? My entire business in this man's hands. A wise decision. A man whose calculations leave a lot to be desired. <clears throat> I tell you what, I will give you enough to pay Odo if you help us count the fleeces inside. Yes! You know how to count? I told you my calculations are right. There are 23 sacks. Yes, we know how to count. Then go into my stall and tell me how many there are. Thank you so much. Come on, Richard. Let's do this together. Okay. One. Am I actually supposed to count these? Six. One, two, three, four, five, nine. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I only see 22. Dark corner. All right. I got it. I'll tell you when you're done. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I only see 22. Can I get anywhere else? I can't see in this corner. Oh, here you go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, 6. 10. 13. 15. Okay, there's 22. How many have you got? 23. Where? Uh, are you certain? I think so. Please count again. What? Why? To make sure you were right the first time. Only if you do that too, Ali. I did. I will. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Twenty two. Sixteen. I'm done. And now? Hmm. Still twenty. No, there's twenty three two, bro. Please count again. Oh. <sighs> Where do you see the twenty third, bro? Um, this time it's twenty two. Yes, that's right. And now, I'm not counting anymore, Ali. I'm certain it's twenty two. Yes, drive me nuts. Let's tell them then. We're done. Good. So, tell me. 22. All in all, there are 22 sacks of wool in there. Oh. Tell me again, Aldous. How much did you pay per sack? As I said, for mixed quality such as this, it was one pound average. One pound per sack? Ah, selling wool is good business. With the coin you have here, 
This means... I'm right. We're one sack short. The children miscounted. It seems everyone miscounts apart from you. Oh, dip. Here's your coin, girl. Yeah, we fucking did it. Calculation, so I'm giving you more than what you I asked heckin' love this lady. Thank you. One penny and two halves. Hell yeah. If you're smart, you'll find out what Odo wants more than money. Then he might not ask for so much. Okay. What would that be? Let's just say he likes to feel like a good person every once in a then while. Then let me see my it dad without charging me. like the monster his job has made him. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. And good luck in Flanders. It'll be all right. You really gave them money? I can do with my coin whatever I like, unlike you. So don't follow my example. Uh, I won't. Okay. Uh, vegetable oh, stock. We can't afford. What was this one then? I could use a new pouch, but we just need to find out where to go. Uh huh. I right, get out of here. Deep market. There you go. Manchester Castle. Oh. Market shops, fleshmongers. A mill. And new factories. Churches. Synagogue and inn. Okay, let's go back here. Hmm? Let's see him now. Please, let us see him now. Sorry, can't make an exception. Each time someone wants to see someone, they have to pay. That's the rules. But they're your rules. Right, but that doesn't make them any less <laughs> rulesy, does it? it? Means you could break them, though. Must have been dozens so far. Each one slipping me a penny. If I let you in for free, the others might think I treated them unevenly. That I am an unjust man. <laughs> Can't have them think that, can I? Here's a penny. Here. Well, that's one for you. It'll be two pence if God your damn brother it. wants in as well. Are you mad? Hello, Ben. I told you would try to cheat. That's not what we were agreed upon. That's enter. not what we agreed upon. I said we're asking to enter, not him you. entering. You Josh, your brother. I told you would try to cheat. Meg told us you would try to cheat. I'm not cheating. You're worse than the prisoners. I thought you were a decent person. I thought you were a decent person. Well, I... I am. But I'm also a very funny bloke. Was just fooling around with yes! you. Yes! You can get in for free, of course. Give me my penny back. Have give me my penny back. Seeing your father. Oh, give me my penny back. Rat. How you doing, Josh? Give me my penny back. Oh boy, he looks rough. Who's there? Dad. He's got an alien growing out of his ear. Father? <gasps> Is that you, Aline? Oh, Father. What have oh. I done to you? He's been vomiting all over his beard. Is that 
To all young men, my Richard. Yes, father. You've grown. Have you got a beard yet? <laughs> Only just. It's still very fair. Are you both well? How have you managed? <coughs> Where have you been living? Ugh. They wouldn't tell me anything about you. It was the worst of the torture. We're fine, yeah. We're fine, father. Don't you worry. We've been living in the castle. Matthew has been taking care of us. But you, you can't live there anymore. By now, the king has probably made that dumb oaf <coughs> Percy Hamley, the Earl. <laughs> but where's Matthew? <coughs> Why isn't he with you? I don't remember who Matthew is. Oh, I do. He was killed. He was killed by the Hamleys. No. But they did us no harm. Except the ear. <coughs> then what happened to your ear, Richard? Shit. It's nothing but a mere scratch. It's a flesh wound. Father, we have to ask King Stephen to release you. No. I swore an oath to King Henry. <coughs> Princess Maud and her sons will rule. I shall not swear allegiance <coughs> to Stephen, and neither will you, even if the other parents did. <coughs> Do you hear me? Yes, father. Stephen is not our king, not, not mine. And not yours. <laughs> please, Father, please calm yourself. Ooh. No, that was, um, Hamley. I have a knife now, and I've been waiting to knife the bastard. He's the guy that hurt my brother's ear. Matthew was the, I don't know, I, I guess her, uh, attendant, maybe? He was the guy, like, outside of her quarters, like, with the, the broom saying, no, she's not seeing visitors today. And called the boy annoying. Let's get him some water. Or not. All right, uh... Can they make him sleep here? Does the king know? If he knows, then he's no better than William Hamley. Stop it, both of you. <coughs> What's in this bucket? Is it a poop bucket? There's water here. Give father some. Oops. Yeah, but the jug is filthy. Hurry, Ellie. Shut up. Water smells musty. Door. Richard. What is this? Something here. What's here? There's something here, but it won't let me see what it is. I shouldn't give him this water. It's bad. Thank you. Children. When the Hamlets brought me here, I hid 50 peasants on a belt uh, under my shirt <coughs> i gave that belt to a priest 
fifty. Hell fucking yeah. What priest? I don't know his name. <clears throat> I gave him the belt and demanded that he keep it safe for you. <clears throat> he was near the west gate. What will we do then? What about after we get the money? What should we do? Hey, first this game. Aunt Edith lives in the village of Huntley on the road <coughs> to Gloucester. You are to go there. Richard, you will be a squire to her husband, Sir Simon. You will learn the arts of knighthood. <coughs> Aliena, you will you will be lady in waiting to Aunt Edith until you marry. What about you? <coughs> I will die in this cell. We won't let you. You will. And before you leave, I want you both <coughs> uh -oh. to swear an oath. We can't leave you like this. You can, and you will. Richard, pull out your sword. <coughs> now, put your hand on the hilt, my son. Swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will not rest until you are Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands I ruled. I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will not rest until I am Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands you ruled. Now you, Aliena, <coughs> swear by Almighty God and, and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will take care of your brother Richard until he has fulfilled his Hey, Koopa, welcome to the stream. I don't want to take care of Richard. But I don't want to leave you here. Here's a match. Ah, oh, shit. What? I wanted to say I swear, but Ali, this isn't a game. my phone thought I was talking to him. He's begun to sleepy puppies. How you doing, my friend? All the saints, that I will take care of my brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. There. Now, you need never come to this place again. To rebuild what we have lost today, I will confess my sins, pray for my soul. Oh, you got your vaccine yesterday and you're feeling a little sick today? Oof. Yeah, take it easy. I've heard this. I can lay you out for a couple days. So, yes, please do rest up. I'm doing just fine. Had another talk with the vets today on what to do with mamas and uh, we got a lot to do with her uh oh no i want to get water for richard's ear bruh damn it we really need to clean his ear Give me my penny back. Oh, he did. Thank you. No, we've wasted too much time. Oh, I wanted to say thank you. Already. Come on. Percy Hanley, Bishop Whalen. Oh, fuck. Good morning. These pieces of shits are here. Oh. Hanley, it's them over there. The 
family. We stabbed a bitch. Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, hey, we remember this, but... Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Same. Worried. But tomorrow, I gotta go in. And then Monday, I gotta go in. Ugh. Reward for the rest of Aliena and Richard of Shiring. Children of the traitor against the throne. Bartholomew or Shiring. Wanted by poor theft and possibly treason. Girl, slim, curly brown hair. Boy, meager, short brown hair. Missing half an ear. Deliver the sheriff of Shiring for reward of fine crowns per head. Fuck. Ali! Ali! Fuck. Those horrid people are about to talk to the king. We knew that they would, didn't we? Something's going yes. on over there. Yes, we did. Father was right. They are all tied together. Bob Snows, what's up, Peanut? In the church. Do you think Father's priest is also in on this? Get him, get him, Bobby Snows. Find him first. Get him, get him. Then we'll know. All right, I think we can hang out here and not get in trouble. Tato! Tato! Tato, go come and get the boopies! Adam! Hey, Jado! Hi! Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't do the Oh, your grandchild! Oh, 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 yeah, you. That's your pillow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Snoot poopies, yes. Very important. How you doing, Peanut? What's new? What's crazy? What's exciting for you? Ah. Oh. What are these? Uh, Westgate. East gate. Monks near West Gate. Women near West Gate. That's them. Shit! Don't let him get away again. I didn't want to walk over there, fuck. Monks! Monks! Where are ya? We'll find ya. Shit. Go, 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 go! Do priests count? Excuse me. Oh, hey. more pilgrims? How wonderful, Brother Bernardus. Does that mean we can now depart for the Cathedral of St. Swithin? Praise be, St. Swithin will heal my foot. Oh! Pan my eyes, Brother Bernardus. Praise be. But we're not pilgrims. We are looking for a priest our father met right here at the Westgate. It was about three weeks ago. Sorry, my children. Shit! We only just arrived here. We are here to visit the shrine of Saint Swithin. How is this game? It's interesting. Sure, it's it's Saint like a Swithin will help you with your ear, my boy. An interactive Please novel me. more than a game. Oh. oh, I'm so happy my foot is going to be all right. But it's Can based on an actual novel, ready, apparently. Not yet, brother Peter. Not yet. Shit. Okay. I need a church, synagogue, church. Let's go to the synagogue first. I'm scared I'm gonna walk by those knights. How do I bait them out? I don't want to disturb their house of prayer. Well, look Shit! at that. I knew we'd find you here. They're here. No, man. Damn, you lost them. William will not oh, thank God. He's gonna hear this. Go on, Ali. Ask that man. Come on. You shouldn't. He's praying. May I help you? Maybe. Do you know the priest of this church? Father Gerontus, of course. He asked me to take care of his church Fuck. while he is in Rome with his bishop. Has he been gone long? They left at the end of winter and were praying to be back before Whitson. 
Mm, thank you. It can't be him. <laughs> Chin up. We will find the right man eventually. I'm sure of it. In assholes. There's another church. Two churches right next to each other. The monks are out. Fuck! Any factories? Church. Hmm. Oh, damn it, dude. I'm, it's literally going to be the last church I look for, isn't it? What is this? Mill. Mint. Market. I don't like the market. Townhouse. Cathedral, I guess? Fucking... Who's this motherfucker? Can I go the long way around so they don't see me? Seems to work. Oh, yeah. Do you think that the priest is at the cathedral? Better be, because I went to every other place. Ask the monks. Do you think that the priest is at the cathedral? Maybe. We could ask them. I'm trying! Motherfucker. This is annoying as hell. Here's a church. Hmm, there's no one here to talk to. Ah! No, that's not him. This is annoying as fuck. Hmm, there's no let me in the cathedral. Do you think that the priest may? This it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I guess we're going up to this. That's not a church. Lovey. Why mark them if they're not? Ugh. So frustrating. Crossroads. This is obnoxious. Why can't I? <sighs> do you think he'll let us watch? I don't care what he'll do with them. I just hope the coin's right. You're playing hide and seek with two children. You should pay us. Or are you not having any fun? Oh no, loads of fun. But, uh... Hey, there they are, over there. All right then. If I get caught right here, I'm gonna be pissed. Home. You have a lot to answer for. Stay away from us. Holly. No. You can't. Are you run. fucking kidding me, you game? Can't hide. Man, that's bullshit. I went to every church and it's like, not the right one. Wow, you actually can end this game? That's so stupid. I went to every church. That's stupid. Uh, I'm angry now. Hmm, there's no one here to talk to. This is dumb. We'd better not linger here. This is dumb. This is so dumb. Ah, oh, look at that handsome young man. Ah, uh, good day, my ladies. So well Bird. spoken. And look, he even has a battle scar. <laughs> like what you see, handsome. You can ride two of us, young lord, if you can pay. Uh, have you seen the priest? <laughs> Our father met him here at the Westgate. He owes us money. Oh, 
you're talking about him. Are you fucking That's kidding me? That's where he got all that money. <laughs> what? He even paid for Mary's dress. He didn't want to at first. All she had to do was stroke his bald head. Where he is He spent all my money. What's his name? Don't know his name. But he's a regular at that one inn. That's annoying. The Go to the church. By the North but Gate. it's not the church. It like piss there. Shall I teach you, love? How to fuck a man or a woman? You can make a fortune with that little mouth of yours. But in a year, you look like me. <laughs> oh my god. Pig. I free spent a lot of money at an inn called the Boar. All right, we're going up there. Man, that was annoying. No. Oh. oh god. It's literally gonna make me walk around. That's annoying. I can't cross through here. What? This is the place. It was gonna make me walk all the way down for some some dumb reason. Um excuse me. We're looking for a priest who stole our money. Word is, he comes to this place regularly. A uh, priest? Uh, I, sorry, dear children. I, I didn't seem to be able to recall anyone. Here's two pennies. Uh, Tell me. Anyone who fits that description. But that little stable boy might know. He knows everyone who comes and goes. Oh, where can we find him? When he's not working at the war, he's doing small. Oh, God, this is annoying. This is a fetch quest, and I hate it. Chap. Where's the green cap? It's adorable, I tell you. <laughs> Stay away from the boar might know or the priest. He wears a green cap. Great. Fantastic. Tavern. Oh, oh, we found it. We found a green hat cap, boy. That's what you get when you work with halfwits. Stable boy. How am I supposed to move this barrel if it's twice as heavy as me? <sighs> Let me help. Very impressive. Thank you for that. I'm always telling them if you want me to restock your kitchen, don't let them cram the barrels to the brim. So, what was it you wanted to know? Um, do you know a monk who frequents? How did the you know I wanted to know something? The bar. I used to work there. The bar, the lazy mayor, and two private kitchens. You're talking about Father Ralph. Thought the women had sucked him dry, but he always comes back with more money. Uh. But he only spends it on beer and ladies. Never has a tip for me. Uh, where can we find Mama's him? just covering her There's nose and guess with her feet. One of them churches round here. Which one is it? It's close to the East Gate, but don't look for him inside. He likes to light around in his back alley. Oh, thank you. You've been very helpful. Thanks, dude. Pleasure. See you around. This way, motherfucker. Hey, you piece of shit. Stealing all our money. Are you Father Ralph? What if I am? Does that mean yes? I guess so. He's the only monk around. What do you want? Well, I am the son of Bartholomew, the Earl of Shiring. So? Uh. Mm, let Richard do talking. Here, let's give him a chance My to stand up. My father gave you money, 50 bezants. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, now I'll it's time for me to step up. You're about to commit a great sin. Give us our money, monk. Oh. Why does Richard have to do this alone? So you're saying there's no money? Right. But my father said... Your father lied then. We should talk to the sheriff. 
<laughs> it'll be my word against the word of a jailed traitor. And now give me some peace. I'm hungry. He's right, isn't he? You're gonna all act like one. Any proof that he's lying? Fuck. We need proof that he's lying. Like what? Maybe something he recently purchased that a monk couldn't normally afford. Like the fucking prostitutes Smart in the beer? Day. And then? I don't know. At least we'll be sure that he's lying, right? <laughs> You're an Earl act like one. Look at him. He's just a bitter old man. He's no match for you. I can't just rob him. Then make him obey you. Be the one in charge. You're supposed to be an Earl. Act like one. Ali, I don't know how. People don't respect us anymore. It's all right. I'll take care of it. God damn it. Maybe we can expose him. Maybe if we expose him, he'll give in. Are you sure? No, but you can see the guilt eating at him already. I'll have a look around. Keep an eye on him. I'll have a look around. Okay. Uh, fire. Oh, I've been freezing all day. He's just gonna let us hang out here? Mm. What if I just pull out my stabby stab and threaten him? It's too heavy. All right, I'm fucking doing that. Fuck you, bro. I'll call the sheriff. We should guard the alley. Richard, you go over there. What? Why? Make sure no one's watching. The knife to his throat. Help! Sheriff! Shut up! Get the sheriff! Shit. Father Ralph needs help! No! I knew I should have sheathed it. I'll tell them the truth about you. You've got no proof. No one will believe you. You will hang for this. I fucking. Ali, they're coming! I just get caught again. God! All right. <sighs> Fine. Fucker. It must be. They will cut your hands off. Give us our money, monk. Oh, hey. This is new. They cut off the hands of thieves in this city. They cut them off in every city. They'll cut off yours. You have no proof. Give us our money. Give us our money, monk. If you don't shut up, I'll get a stick and teach you some respect. Really? Don't you dare. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, man. You're about to commit a great sin. I'll, let me pull out my knife. A great sin. If we don't get that money, we'll starve. Start begging for arms, then. You may not uh, know this is it, annoying. a lot of people live that way. All right, bitch. I'll call the sheriff. Guard the alley. Richard, make sure. There. Uh, this is annoying. It's too heavy. Hey. 
Oh, is this yours? Oh, I didn't think a poor monk could afford something like this. Hmm. All right, kill your chicken then. Kill your chicken then. Or not. Uh... Oh. That one will let me stab it. All right. I'd rather not alarm anyone. We'll pick it up then. Chicken, 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 chicken. Ah, oh, this is annoying as fuck, bro. Oh, hmm. Ugh. We will put you on trial. On what grounds? You won't get away with this. Why would anyone listen to you? I hate this. We'll make you pay. Piss off. <sighs> Just let me murder him. It must be him. I hate this. And I can't get out. This is fun. Love this. He has to fear us. But we're just children. Why would he? Because you have a big ass sword. Can I pick this up now? Because I drained it. There you go. Richard, I found it. Oh no. He took all the money. Of course he did. We knew that. Now he murdered the shit out of him. Look what we found, asshole. Don't pretend you didn't see, monk. I was gonna say. I found this under your barrel. You are a thief. That strap proves nothing. You seem very certain of this. Sheriff! Hush, you stupid brats. The sheriff is a bastard. He'll take everything for himself. But first, he'll take your hands. Sheriff or no sheriff, you won't get your money. Ali, this isn't going anywhere. Well, at least we know now that he won't call for help. Aha! Now I can threaten him. Give us the money. It belonged to a traitor to the crown. By giving it to me, he paid his debt to God. We will make you pay, you monster. You wouldn't hurt a man of the church. Really? Because you don't seem like one. Time to stab. Diplomacy doesn't work. Stabbercy will come to play. I warn you, I have friends nearby. If okay. you scream, I will show them your beer soaked belt and tell them what a thieving liar you are. You wouldn't harm me. Yeah? You sure about that? Go back. Guard the entrance. Hey, you piece of shit! Hey! What? You're a devil. I'm going to cut out your eyes one by one. First, the left eye. I no. love her. She's awesome. Oh, please don't. Where's the money? Here, here. I got it on me. It's going to be like nothing. Right? She's awesome. Where's you the rest? Bitch. Spent it Gone. on. Gone where? I spent it. Let's take what we've got and go. Right? I always thought that too. Like, after, like, you All see right. Brave, I was like, I want that to be my daughter. I may She's come a badass. Back one day, and then I'll collect what you owe us. Yeah, just same. You were wonderful, Ali. You scared him after death. 
Yes, well, now, come on. Father wants us to find Auntie. I am thirsty. On the road to Is it going to tell me how much money it gave me? Oof. I remembered a cobbler who lived nearby in the town of Hastings. Ouch. Who could sell us some boots. But taking the detour would cost us both money and time. If we have better shoes, then we can probably travel better. A quiet man with little love for children. When I asked for a pair of his cheapest boots, he stared at me, trying to measure my query's worth. Then he lifted his finger and pointed at a pair that would cost us more than half of what we had. Fuck. That's for a cheaper pair. The cobbler surveyed us once more. He took in Richard's sword while listening to the impatient but uncommon way I talked. In the end, he held up the boots he'd been working on, unfinished, rough, and frayed, then suggested a figure that was lower but still overpriced. What a dick! Expensive boots. Fuck! When I removed my clogs, the cobbler caught sight of my tortured feet. He motioned me to hold on, then returned from his hut with a long shred of dirty cloth. I wrapped the cloth around my wounds, then put on the boots, while the cobbler pocketed his coin and silently went back to work. In the afternoon, mm. the sky darkened and the temperature dropped drastically. We considered setting up camp to allow us an opportunity to warm our worn down feet. However, we were already running low on food and would soon need to reach our destination. Can keep walking. In the hills, there are a lot of poor small holdings. We asked a shepherd for directions to Huntley. It's just down the road, he answered. I thanked him and gave Richard a hopeful push. Oh, find something to clean his ear. Okay, we got a shelf, a hole, a fireplace, debris, meat. It's all burned and rotting. Auntie and Uncle must have left some time ago. Oh boy. Maybe they built their new home nearby, a proper one made of stone. I think they got raided. They always had coin enough for a stone house anyway. Maybe this isn't even the right house. It is. How mm. would you know? It's been a long time since we came here with father. These houses all look alike. Shut up, Hallie, please. They're gone. Probably killed. Whatever happened to them? They will never find out. It's over. There's no place for us to go. Remember the oath you made to dad, you bitch. the cart nothing hey hello oh good day again good day Huntley is just down that road you can't miss it I know we just found out that the people we've been looking for aren't there anymore. Oh, that's a shame. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Getting all the work done. My wife is ill, so I have to do it alone. Needs to be done by nightfall, otherwise I won't get them to Winchester tomorrow. Ooh. Why are you asking? We were supposed to live here with our uncle and aunt, but since they're gone, we need to find another way to get by. Do you know what happened to the owners of that burned down house down the road? It's not Simon you're looking for, is it? <laughs> Why, yes. A while ago, some knights came to his house, nasty bunch. Burned it down, said he was part of some scheme against the king, like his brother, the Earl. What happened to Simon and his wife? To no, haven't seen any of them since. I understand. Thank you. Oof. Let us carry your wool to Winchester. We can help you shear your sheep. We'll carry your wool. We could take the I'm wool. I'm talking to, to you, Google. You could stay at home and look after your wife while we sell Stop it. Stock. I'm not talking to you. Well, that would be kind of you. But I couldn't trust you to yeah, I was gonna say the that. right price and bring the money back safely. Offer to buy his wool here now. What if I bought the wool from you? You'd get the money right now and wouldn't have to go to market. I'm not going to have enough because I bought the expensive and shows. The more we can negotiate will be the pay for our travels. Well, that's an interesting thought. But for that to work, you would need to buy my entire stock, and I doubt you have coin for that. Fuck. Now, let me get back to work. The God damn it! Set, How much for one sack? Just name your price. One and a half pounds. Offer one pound and a quarter pound. Agree to pay one and a half pounds. Check the quality first, yeah. I want to see the wool first. All right, have a look. Is it good? Look at us haggling. Let's see. Huh. These fleeces are quite thin. I put the cheap ones on top, in case of rain. Mm, the ones deeper down don't look that much better. Well, I couldn't wait for the wool to grow any thicker. My family is hungry and weak. I had to shear my sheep early this year. All right. Offer a pound. I can offer you one pound. That's less than what merchants in Winchester would offer. But you don't have to take it there. You can't expect me to pay as much as a merchant would. Why not? Because you don't no. have to travel. I'm not only offering you money here. You yeah. also the chance yeah, to yeah, stay yeah, here yeah, with yeah, your yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't have to worry about your wool anymore. Because that would be my problem then. But it'll only work if I can sell everything for more than I paid you here. Hmm. You're smart. Fuck okay, yeah, let's go! Well, alright. It's one Woohoo! Let's go! Look I'll at me being a merchant. Mabel here, then bring out the rest I've got. Maybe you also want to talk to the other shepherds around here. They might want to sell too. Ah, huh, alright. Thank you. By the way, there is a man looking for you. Mm. He came by just shortly after you. I told him you went to hunt. Shit! What man? Is it Hamley? Dunno. Brown scruffy hair, beard, black horse. Could be he rode right past oh, you. Oh no. That old hut is not easy to find. Shall I give him a message no. if he turns up again? Tell him we left Huntley for good. I will. Now let me get those sacks for you. Oh. Was that his knight? Bodyguard friend thing. I wonder what Richard will think of this. Hey, buddy. Guess what? I spent all our money. I'm not feeling very well. I know. You're about to die. Let me see your ear. Don't touch it. I feel weak. My face hurts so much. Have you still got some water? Some. But it hurts when I swallow. What did we do wrong, Ali? Why is God punishing us? 
Yeah, moping will get us nowhere. Moping will get us nowhere. We need to keep going or or we'll die. But there is nowhere for us to go. We're commoners now. Commoners who never learned to do common work and we both swore an oath to father. If we don't get the Elden back, we will go to hell. We could become wool merchants. We could become wool merchants. What do we know about wool? Look at what I got here! We know from Meg that a lot of shepherds complain about their walk to Winchester. What if we did that for them? And what about me becoming a knight? Uncle Simon's not the only one who'd take you as a squire. If we collected enough money, we could pay another knight to teach you. That's a lot of money. It might work. Right? We've had some bad luck till now, but surely not everyone is a fiend. It'll take some time, but we should be able to gradually increase our income. All we need to do is have a lot of patience and pray to God. Shit, I knew it. That's who I was looking for. I knew he was showing up. Richard! Lord Anthony caught me riding the horse you stole from him. Ah. He told me before I take you back, I can have some fun with you. Ah. 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 Get away from him! Ah. Oh shit. Yeah! Get stabbed! Let's go! <laughs> Life leaving his body. <laughs> See that subtitle? First on the list. No. He killed him? <laughs> Are you fucking... Did, did I not respond Richard. fast enough? Shit. If it says chapter end and then it says you let Richard die, then we'll know. I failed you. If only I had run faster. Shit. If only I had known how to treat your wounds, your ear. If only I had known how to save you. I wanted to treat his ear. But how could I have? I'd known as little about the world as you had. Now all that remained for me to do was to stay with you. To hold you. Until your skin had gone pale and the burning veins clutching your neck had grown cold. Oof. I don't remember much of the weeks that followed until one day I found myself back in Winchester. Look at me being a boss, just walking in with a fucking wagon full of wool. Let's go. Also, that symbol that she has is a symbol that they use in Hellblade. May I ask what you're planning to do with all that wool? Sell it. Elena's notes on trading. Let's read this. To negotiate a good price and to make a profit. First, stress the quality of the goods. Whatever you can think of. Know your goods. And then, once the partner is willing to negotiate, do not ask for too much. Asking twice the amount of the initial offer will likely result in a bad deal. Being too humble, on the other hand, will make your goods seem cheap and your offering uninteresting. Offer uninteresting. Suggesting a reasonable price somewhere higher than what you really want is likely to result in a counteroffer and a good deal. Remember, be smart not only when you sell, but also when you buy. Otherwise, there will be no profit. Uh-huh. Hey, it's my friends. Well, friend. The other guy's a dick. Mind showing me a piece of your stock? I'd like to establish the quality before I make any promises. So is this better than what I picked up before? Here you go. Hmm, not bad. 
That's quite some wool you've brought along. I hope you're not planning to set up shop here too. Meg would kill me if I let you. I came to sell, not compete. I came to sell this wool to you, not to compete with you. It comes from the shepherds near Huntley. They gave it to me so they wouldn't have to come here themselves. I see. All right. I'll give you a pound per sack for this. No. Nope. What? Uh, only a pound? Ah, that's a fair price. Nope. Nope. But that's what I paid the shepherds. This doesn't even make up for the cart, taxes, and traveling. Uh, I wish I could have said that. Bad business decision. What? I can't pay for your mistakes, can I? I you wish I could have counter offered. Say, uh, where's your brother? Did he not help you? I, um, well. It didn't give me the option. He's dead. He's, he's not here. Oh. I'm sorry. It didn't even give me the choice to counter. I could buy your cart off you as well if you want. 55 pence? What do you say? No. Brother died for this. My... I'll never fulfill my oath. I'll... What the fuck, man? What the hell? I don't... Just... It's making me do shit that I don't want to do. Somewhere else. Shiring, perhaps, or, or there, that's what I want. No, I'm that didn't make any sense though with the options that it I gave can. me. Maybe, maybe even less once they see your battered hands. Then I'll prove that the wool's quality is worth the price. Just let me look at it once more. <sighs> hmm? I don't understand what's happening right now. I've got to work out what signifies high quality. Remember what the shepherd said. If Richard was here, we'd remember it all. It's from a good breed of sheep, they said. What else? Um... It's clean. No grease or dirt. It's dry, light and soft. It's strong. The wool is very durable. Hmm. Have you thought it over? Raisable. It's strong. Some sheep produce brittle fiber, but this wool is strong. Its sheep had good, healthy lives. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's suitable for finer and durable fabrics. It's dry. In this weather, some cartloads of wool would arrive damp. I made sure that this is dry and undamaged. It's light and easy to transport. Mm, and customers are hesitant to buy wet wool. And it's clean. Wool is often full of grease and dirt. But this batch was scoured very thoroughly. It's very clean and soft. Hmm. Even picky customers would be delighted. That is true. All right. What pricing did you have in mind? He said one, right? One pound and ten shilling per sack, then. <sighs> well, tell you what. I'll give you one and a quarter pounds for every sack. You've brought up some good arguments. Your wool is exquisite. Ah, uh, but not a penny more. All right? No. No. <laughs> That's not enough. I want one and a half pounds. Well, you're not getting that. Or would you prefer to get one pound after all? All right. I accept your offer. <laughs> Damn it, I tried. Thank you for your business. I've earned 60 pence for each sack. I know why Meg likes you, Aliena. You're just as ruthless as her. I must say, that hey, buddy. was impressive. Can I help you? Forgive me, I didn't mean to barge in, but... You are the Lady Aliena of Shiring, are you not? That and mean. who are you? My name is Philip of Gwyneth. I am the Prior of Kingsbridge. Ah, oh, I've heard of you. 
You helped a lot of people after the Hamleys attacked my father's castle. We only did what was right. I met your father. My father knew many people. Not all of them were his allies. I know. I'd like to invite you to come to Kingsbridge. Our own wool trade has fallen somewhat into neglect, God forgive, but we have plenty of sheep. I am sure we could come to an agreement. Me? Trading wool for you? You wouldn't work for me. You would work with me. I can see that you are not afraid of hard work. I don't know a single novice who would have been willing to pull a cart like that on his own. My friend, Brother Milius, would be delighted to speak with you. He always goes to markets for our priory. What do you say? I'll consider it. Please, do consider my offer. You will be most welcome in Kingsbridge. It is the least I can do. Thank you, Father. Not much later, I found a home in Kingsbridge. Nice. I remember when I got there, there was Jack. Oh, hey! Yeah, we've met before. You. I remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder. I like his little red on Jack his nose. Sherbug. That was weird. I didn't click. And then the days just went by. Little did I know that the best and the worst was yet to come. Worse, my father or my brother died. Hold on. There's a. Just realized. I haven't seen the stream boss in a while. This birch is a beast with a million life. I don't know why it's not showing up on the stream, though. Because it's outside of the. Somehow I got dragged outside of the screen. There we go. All right, it's back now. Very strange. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Um. Okay. You did knock at your Otan house. You found a place to sleep for the night. You handled the journey well. Nice. You hesitated before you swore the oath. I didn't mean to do that. You saw your father one last time. You lost Richard. What becomes of the oath now? Oh, he could have been saved. I tried! You paid the shepherd one pound for each sack of wool. You negotiated a better price for the wool and made a profit. Philip has invited you to come to Kingsbridge. Hell yeah. Whoa. That's not supposed to happen. The fuck? Oh, everything's broken. So, you have returned from Rome, Bishop Whaleran. Yes, it was a very illuminating... There it goes. Something's weird with that button. What do you want? The Pope was very pleased to hear how I and you have worked together in the past to support our king. We did not do it for your church. He was less pleased, however, to hear about the bargain you struck with the Prior of Kingsbridge. Why should he care? Once and for all, we will not support you in your personal quarrels. The deal we made with the Priory of Kingsbridge has the blessing of the king. Of course, and you would never change your mind on that matter. Tell me, has your son returned from the Holy Land yet? We have not heard from him. Ever since he set out to join that crusade of yours. Please tell me that he died. If he dies, your church will be responsible. Do not underestimate your son, Lady Hamley. That would be a great mistake. Wait, I did chapter nine? I thought I was on nine now. All right. Who's the little blonde boy? Look at our cathedral! Getting all built. Not long now and you'll have a ceiling. Wonderful. Then we will no longer have to That's hold not Hamley, is it? in the crypt. He could even begin to plan the paintings for the wooden ceiling and the walls. Why a wooden ceiling? 
So the whole thing goes up in flames again. Philip decided That's on Alfred? This cheaper. And these walls could only hold the weight of a wooden ceiling. I love you like a brother, Alfred, but the apprentice shouldn't have to tell the master craftsman. Where's Jack? Like oh, he's all the way back there. Jack, for once, focus on your work and finish it. Just for once. Or you'll stay an apprentice for the rest of your life. Don't argue again. Alfred is right. This is a house of God. <sighs> all right. Now, where were we? You could start planning the paintings for the ceiling, if you wish. Can we afford that at the moment? We are paying so many workers already. Father Philip, Tom Builder. Alfred. Ah, Aliena. How are you? I'll be moving my wool to Shiring today. The fleece fair starts tomorrow. Ah, I almost forgot. Milius and I have already arranged everything. We'd make a little kid in the background. If Percy Hamley had not raised the taxes this week. Again? Oh. I'm gonna look at her. Jonathan, you shouldn't wander off. Stay with us. Tom is right. You hear? He looks like a real monk. Mm. Oh, that's the kid. The baby. Amen. That sounds like Latin, but it's not quite right yet. That's adorable. We would not have to worry about this if we could sell our wool here on our market. The king would have to grant us a license for that. And the Hamleys wouldn't like that, I'm afraid. They want the taxes from the fair in Shiring. Don't worry. We'll make a good profit. It's a good year. We've never moved this much wool as it is. Ah! <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I'm back to bonking on my thing over here. Uh, oh, and I have to build a new storage house. Alfred is a master craftsman now. If you can pay him, he'll help you. Ah, very good. If she hadn't a business of her own, I'd hire her to work for me. <laughs> she is something. She would make me a good wife. Hey! Hey, take that back! <laughs> what? What did I say? For the last time, stop your quarreling. Philip. This whole Let's section feels weird, like the There's a problem I have to discuss with The you. voice lines don't quite add up. All right. Right. Take that back, Alfred. Jack, leave him alone. And for once, finish your work. And Jack. Please keep an eye on Jonathan, will you? I, I can't keep an eye on Jonathan what and do my me? work. <laughs> Finish your work, Jack. <laughs> okay. That's how it always was. But on that day... Why is there a beehive above me? On that day, I was going to see Aliena. And I was going to tell her how I felt. Also, there's someone way back there. And nothing and no one would stop me. I have to see Eliana. I wonder where she is. She's not here. There's a bees nest. Alfred will regret what he said. Why? I don't care about that. Tom insists I finished my corbel. Kid. Crack. Why is there a crack in the wall already? It's already coming apart, and Alfred wants to put a stone ceiling on top instead of a wooden one. <sighs> Idiot. Time, time for him. Him for him. The tree of life. When I was small, I wanted something with animals. I tried to make it look like no other tree, more like a thought. 
I like it, but nobody recognizes that it's supposed to be a tree. <laughs> well, Tom says it's done. He won't let me do another one. Okay. I better not get too close. I uh, probably shouldn't slingshot it. I'll finish it real quick. Time to get this done. Oops. Fuck. Blow on it. No. Keep an eye on the kid back there. You done now? Nice. Noise. For some reason, I'm full of energy today. Mm. But the face still isn't right. I can never get the face right. I'm done for now. Good enough. I just can't stand looking at it anymore. Oh, damn. Watch your tongue. I will. Damn. Mm. I need to get much better at this. Okay. Hey, kid, come with me. Hey, little brother. <laughs> Talk about looking out for him. Big faces. Let's have some fun. Come on, let's have fun. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, I can. Tom and Philip said you can't. You have to work. I know what they said. I was there, you know. Uh, talk about looking out for him. I hope you appreciate that I look out for you. I ate a beetle. Ah! <laughs> Don't touch <laughs> it, right? I ate a it's beetle. A right. Let's get up. You're supposed to come with me, dude. I should try to find Aliena instead. It's been too long since I saw her. I saw her like five minutes ago. I'm done for I just can't st Okay. I thought I was supposed to take the kid with me, but apparently not. Mouse, are you gonna there you go. Okay, he's just covered with me. That's fine. Uh oh, don't walk that way. They'll see me. Jonathan, don't run off. God damn it. Don't worry, he's here. Ah, great. Thank you, Martha. And no, I don't have time to watch him. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the sound of the market. Shouldn't you be working, Jack? Eh, maybe I should go before I buy anything. Mm. Watch where you go, will you? Now it's come to that. Even the monks step on my chickens. Rude. How's business? So, how's business? All well? More and more people keep coming here. Yesterday, there were two dozen merchants from Shiring alone. Nice! You exhausted? Pretty much. But the Priory made a lot of money. Seems Ooh. the Earl just raised the taxes at his market, so they all came here instead. Nice. Now they will return to Shiring for the Fleece Fair. Is the Earl asking lower taxes at the Fleece Fair? On the contrary. From what the merchants told me, it's even worse. So they all have to trade their wool there, including Aliena and the Prius. But you need a license to do a fleece fair, and only Shiring has one. Uh, are you not going to the fleece fair? Are you not going to the fleece fair in Shiring? No, Philip asked me to supervise the market here. So now you're working with Philip and Aliena? I know, it's a lot of work. But we all want the same thing after all. And what's that? To keep this place in good shape. This is our home. Yeah, I guess. You should be working too. I'm just taking a break. Did you see Aliana? Did you see Aliana? Mm. Aliana. Maybe she was heading. Did I say Aliana? <laughs> I think she's expecting a visitor. A visitor? 
Do I hear jealousy in your voice? Apparently. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Aliena went home. Could be. I know she's expecting a visitor. Yo, Parallax! Holy crap, my friend! It has been a hot minute. I saw you streaming. You streamed once a couple months ago or something. I was able to lurk in. How you doing? The the pups are doing okay. Jade is doing fine. Mama's just uh, recently started having seizures, so uh, we're doing um a lot of tests and stuff on her. But other than that, we've been doing fine. How have you been? Do you want to buy some of this fine cloth, Jonathan? Great idea. I can make you a red robe or a blue one. No. No. Is he Australian? No. No, that would be silly now, wouldn't it? What is the color that monks wear? Brown and black and gray. How do you get along with Alfred? How do you get along with Alfred? And super busy? Full-time student? He Work full-time, family, and opening a business? Yo, you're him. opening a business? You keep cooking? If you don't mind sharing, what he are you opening? He have a wife. And he's my brother. I wouldn't ask you to cook for me. Jonathan wouldn't either. He's your brother too. Jack, no one's supposed to know. Don't worry. He's a little monk. He is everyone's brother. Mm. Maybe I should get going. Oh, before I forget, I have a message for you. Message from Ellen. Thank you, Cub. Oh, this is my mom. I need to talk to you. I will be at the small clearing near the river. Does she not stay in, in this area? About Papa. What's there to talk about? Tom doesn't believe I can be a builder. That's not true. That's what she wants to talk about. Papa knows what you can do. He told her. Oh, did he? Yes. Interesting. He's complicated. He is. Okay. On days like this, you can almost get lost here. Are you still, uh... <laughs> I don't want to... If I, I remember, I think I remember anyway, what you did for your job. But I, I don't want to give too much personal information out here on Twitch without, you know, you have to send it first. Um, but are you still doing what you were doing? You know what? You're doing charcuterie boards? Or charcuterie boards? Shark coochie boards? <laughs> those are delicious. Oh, you make those big part of businesses go ones. Oh, really? Dude, that sounds awesome. I love me some char charcuterie. Like, what kind of meats and cheeses do you put on it? Yeah, healthcare. Yeah, you quit that a while back. You call them grazing boards, dude? I, mm, if I get one of those myself at like at a restaurant, it's just like, well, that's a lot of money that's just gonna go straight to my face because it's so good. All right, uh, I don't care about this map. Of course. Oh, are you in games? No problem. See you when you get out of a game. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. What's going on over here? Stonemasons. Where is... Go to the cloister, kitchen door. Go to the market. Go and talk to my mom. Did you finish your corbel? Tell him that you'll do it later. I'm not done yet, but I'll do it later, all right? Why do I have the feeling that the corbel won't be finished today or tomorrow? Why don't you tell Alfred off? I'm doing my best, all right? I'm doing my best, all right? If you would let me do more than just the statues. You need to focus on the task at hand. I can do much more than stone carving, and you know it. We can't always get what we want. Alfred can. You're worried Jack, that I'm going to show up your son. We have much bigger problems to solve right now. The Earl of Shiring has stopped supporting us. If we don't do anything about it, we'll have to send the workers away. We have to stop building the cathedral. I will talk to Percy Hamley. And if he won't see me, I will talk to the king, or this will be the end of Kingsbridge. Can I help you? Yes, by doing as you're told. Do your job, and only your job. And leave Alfred alone. I'm just being all twitchy and it's freaking me out. Edo, what are you doing? Are you just trying to get comfy? I agree. 
I'm gonna go to the pathway. Where's my mom? Road to the bridge. I forgot where my mom's at. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Hello. Brother Paul. And that is little Jack. You see, he never paid the bridge toll when he came here. Mm. Sometimes you must show clemency and let those in need pass into our town without asking for coin. I'll remember your words, Brother Paul. Have you seen Aliena? Yes, I, I saw her near the mill. Mill? Where's the mill? Jack's quarry. Ha! What's the... Wait, 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 wait. That quarry has the stone. Maybe I can do something with that. God damn it, wasp nest. He's always here and I'm scared that he's gonna get stung by the bees. Don't always run off, Jonathan, or I'll get in trouble with... Aliena! Uh Hey, no. Why are you all fidgety? Yes? Do you mind if we sit here? Uh, of course not. We can do some flirting. We can do some flirting chat. My button's acting goofy. Elena, look up. Jack, look up. Jack, look down. Helena, look up. Jack, look up. Wow, this is and a. And how are you? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, um, well. Shouldn't you be working? Jack, tell her that you like her. Shouldn't you be working? Shouldn't you be working, Jack Builder? Us? No, as it happens, my young friend here is a bit disgruntled with his superiors and needed a break. Uh, look at him, his face. Oh, so? you guys can barely see him. Maybe you'd like to come and work for me, Jonathan. <laughs> well, that was not creepy at all. Well, well, Jonathan, he's here. I'm coming. Jack loves you. Yeah, I was hoping he was going to say something like that. Let's fucking go. I was just about to ask if you think that Jonathan suspects anything. I swear on this very Bible that I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hi. Cold. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, I lost my Bible. Shit. I'm sorry, but no bad deed goes unpunished. But we haven't done anything bad yet. You burned down the cathedral. Oh, damn, she knows. Ah, they're adorable. My lady. You dangerous, feral beast from the woods. God hates me for that. He, he has a strange way of showing it. Oh God, please don't have the weird sex talk thing that we had earlier. Yeah, it reminds me, I gotta go talk to my mom. You remembered it. You sang it the first time when we sat here together. You were dangling your feet in the brook lost in thought. Just like today. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Oh, uh, what are you playing? You playing some more Overwatch? Or did you give up on that dumpster fire? Oh man, Jack. that game. I know. Love hate relationship with that game. You saw Rock this one out? Nice. Did you find with Tom again? Have you heard from Sir Catface? I don't remember who that is. Oh, that's that knight. I 
Could you fight with Tom again? Tom always. We actually have a uh, couple Overwatch players in a, a channel. Also, if you join the Discord, you can give yourself the Overwatch role. And if you're looking for a group, you just tag anyone Overwatch when you're playing, and you could get a group. We've got some good players here. Clever one. He probably worries about Alfred. Hey, it's not my fault that he's a he's a bit slow in the head. Exactly. Tom thinks you should know better. Mm, maybe. You played support, right? If I remember right. Don't be cross with Tom. Have you heard Sir Catface? Yeah, don't be cross. Don't be cross with Tom. I think he wishes Alfred was more capable than he really is. I think is. exactly that's he it. He wants Alfred to be his successor after all. Mm -hmm. well, perhaps he could be if he only put his mind to it. I mean, even I could do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. But who would Flex to build still support a lot anyway. since this is what my friends kind of expect. Main take now. Nice! Yeah, I'm about the same. I'm a, I'll flex, but I feel more at home with tank and support. I'm not a good DPS. Have you heard from Sir Catface? Have you heard from Sir Catface? I can't believe that's his real name. <sighs> the war never ends. I thought that was a joke name. And he always needs more money. And I pay him to fight for the man who killed our father. King Stephen. To get the earldom back from him. Mm, yes. But you know, I don't even want that. Everything I've built here. What we have... I have all that because I'm not my father's daughter anymore. I'm afraid you have your days in DPS. I feel that face wins back our earldom. I'll lose much more. I think I don't like DPS that much now. just because it feels mm. very much a solo kind of a play style. Like in most games where there's roles, it's like as a tank and as a support, like you are a fundamental piece. And if you don't do your job right, bad shit can go very bad. But if you're a DPS, the only time bad shit goes bad is if you're not doing enough DPS. Or like in case of like crowd control, it's like, oh, you didn't you didn't sheep fast enough and that mob went and rampaged. But like that's every so often, right? But as a tank, it's like the tank decided not to pick up threat and the whole party just got wiped or the support decided to stop healing and then the tank died and then the whole party wiped, you know? Like they, they try to make DPS feel like they're more part of the group, but they're not. They're like yes, they're they're a part of the group, but they, they don't feel like a keystone that like if this part crumbles, shit goes bad very quickly. You know, DPS is like, ah shit, you can compensate, get it back up, get it get back okay, get that sheep, oh shit, some bad stuff is happening, get it back up. But it's like, nah, the fucking healer got counterspelled. They can't heal now. Bad shit is gonna happen. You know? Mm, your father meant well. I guess I have him have a conversations well. here. I'm sure he did. Did he? he never yeah, loved feeling necessary. Anyone. That's exactly not that's even that's the right way to put it. It was not my fault we lost the earldom. It's not my responsibility. How could father make me swear? Yeah, that you don't feel like a dime a dozen, right? Like as a tank, like you can even see that in fucking queues for any sort of game like that. It's like DPS queues that take forever because they're a dime a dozen. One DPS can immediately replace another DPS. But as a tank or support, you're just like, well, you need a fucking tank or support. And you know what? If that tank or support isn't carrying their weight, you fucking feel it. Main support and WoW, same. I'd like to play in Resto. WoW is your first time playing DPS? Hey, Moira, welcome back. Uh, we were just talking some Overwatch. Uh, I, Parallax just joined the Discord. She's joined or playing some uh, Overwatch. I think she's gonna give herself that role. So, yeah, we're getting more, more and more people that can join in on the the party. Were you still? Oh, you're fine, man, dude. Oh, Philip insists. <laughs> Speaking of Overwatch, well, Moira, yeah, right there. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're a shami mate. Nice. I had a shaman named Shamburglar. He sees something in you. He was fun. Oh, maybe I should become a monk. <laughs> he was an orc. But you, you aren't allowed to kiss monks. I shall love you like a brother then. That's creepy. <laughs> no, that's not funny. <laughs> I 
I've been said, missing this whole conversation. What is that book called you told me about last time we met? The Amores by Ovid. I've only heard about it from a traveling scholar. Hmm, the title sounds promising. No, yeah, but maybe it's not as interesting as we think. Let's find out. I'll ask around Kingsbridge and see what I can find. All right. Maybe they have a more okay in the scriptorium. Uh, we just figured that out. I don't want to talk about my problems. What was that book called again? The Amores by Ovid. Why would it highlight that again if it we already did that? I don't want to talk about my problems. You know, back in the forest, my mother made up the rules herself, but they all made sense somehow. Here, everything is... it's, it's complicated. Oh, I know. Rules everywhere. Why is it that Tom can't tell Philip that Jonathan is his son? He's so happy when he's around Jonathan. Tom's rules. And Philip's, probably. Tom believes he has lost the right to be Jonathan's father, as he gave up on him when he was born. That's what Martha said. And what about us? When will we tell other people about us? I guess when we're ready to play. What snack did you get, Moira? <laughs> I'm feeling we'll peckish. I guess. It's like stone carving. It's like stone carving. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. You know, when I first look at a piece of stone, I, I start to imagine what it could become: corbels, squirrels. Uh, it's like I can already see them. But, it, but it's only when you work on it that you you learn what you can and and you can't. Man, do. this is a lot of. If you do this, the stone will break. Reading right now. You do that, it will look great. Oh, we will tell people about us when we're sure it won't break anything. Right. I am like sliding all over the place. I bet only good stone can be used for the pillars, right? Because they carry all the weight. Exactly. That's why Tom and Philip keep nagging you. They want the best for you and for themselves, which is you. If you say so. I know so. I want the same. Or you made it just back just in time too, because I think they just did the birds and the bees thing that, if you recall, last everyone, night, the mom gave me, all of them. the Maybe not sex talk Jack to him. Builder. And, uh, the oh. phrasing and the words she used still haunt me. What's going on? Oh shit! We better go and find out. Everyone, calm down. What happened at the quarry? No, I was gonna go check that out. Listen. I was literally gonna go check yes, that out. There was an incident. Our friend, Otto Blackface, was hurt at the quarry. Who's that? What happened? The Earl of Shiring had his men stop us from taking stone from the quarries and timber from the forest. Okay. Why? I could have probably figured Why that out. Percy Hamley do that? All we know is what his men told us, that the Earl of Shiring will not support yeah, the construction knew that was gonna happen. of Kingsbridge Cathedral anymore. What are we going to do now? I will ride to Shiring myself and I will talk to Percy Hamley. Oh, that's all good and well. But how are we supposed to continue working without stone and timber? I want to be paid before you run out of money. I need to feed my family. Calm down. You heard the prior. He will talk to the Earl himself. And I've planned ahead for a day like this. You will be paid soon. And there will be plenty of work for at least another month. So that's for what was the optim or the, the pessimistic I approach. I think that gave us a buffer. And I trust our prior. I will prepare everything immediately. I'll be with you in a moment. What if the Earl won't listen to Philip? I need to talk to Philip. See me later at my house, all right? You got it. What about the book we wanted to look for? 
Not now. I, I think I can help here. Oh, She's fine. awesome. I love her. We will sort this out. And now, back to work. This cathedral won't build itself. And you, Jack, watch Jonathan. Oh, what again? All right, can I go? I'm done. For okay, now. maybe not. Why are you I holding that bread? Looking at it anymore. Are you looking for someone? I'm supposed to bring this bread to our canter. He's spending the day up there on the roof of the cathedral. But how am I ever going to make it all the way up there? A ladder? Uh, afraid of heights, hmm? But do you want me to go? No, no. I'll make it. I just need time. Uh. All right, you do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and ruffle some wasps. Nailed it. Yes. So I good at this. More nests around. Let's go break that other one then. I will do everything in my power to make sure you are paid. I know that you showed us mercy before when we had to flee from Earl's Castle. My husband has worked here ever since, and we would like to be close to Our Lady Aliena, but we have no choice. Oh, Mary. Oh, so you were one of the ladies. Mary. I remember your name. We all owe Philip much. I trust you, Father, but I risk my neck up there every day. My wife is right. If you can't pay, we'll have to move on. Kingsbridge is our home. I don't want to leave. Let me think of something. Maybe there's a way we can pay your workers early, Philip. But selling the wool at the fleece fair will take at least a couple of days. I'm sorry, but me and the other workers can't wait that long. Not now that everything is so unsure. Trust me, Philip. I'll think of something. Jack. Hi. You said you weren't finished with your corbel. When I went by there, look finished to me. You need to learn to let go and move on. Don't get lost in the details. It's my corbel. None of this is ours. Doing the carvings is the only job you didn't give Alfred to screw up. We should be thankful of the work we're allowed to do. And in our work, we must be thorough and steadfast. Thankful for what we are allowed to do. You are the one who wouldn't settle for less than a cathedral. You could have had Ooh. other work, but no. For months, Zing. you remained steadfast, no matter the cost. When are you going to tell Jonathan about what happened in the forest? Oh, damn. Ugh. Shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. Damn it. Yeah, probably not. Let's go knock down this wasp nest. Don't get stung, Jonathan. Jump in that pool if you need to. I fucked up. I need to do better than that. Okay, cool. It didn't. It didn't do anything bad. It's a non-moving target. <laughs> I bet there are more nests around. What's in here? Don't oh, murder. Okay, I don't like this. Weathered carvings. Is that blood on the ground? What is that? Those little dots. Oh, are these, those are ants. Do you mind? A handful of ants. Why? Why would I take a handful of ants? I just took a few. They aren't all your ants. Why would I take a handful of ants? Uh. Hmm. The water flow turns the wheel. Uh huh. Then there's more wheels. And the millstone. The water flow turns the millstone. So the motion of the water is used and transformed into another motion, the grinding. 
Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be all kinds of motions possible? Oh, he's we thinking like an engineer. Timber and stone up at the construction site. Maybe the right kind of mill could make a soaring motion or a hammering motion. Hmm. I guess that's a challenge for another day. Thinking like an engineer, bruh. Can I go over here? Citric, how's it going, friend? And welcome to the stream. I guess he really does have ants in his pants. <laughs> Why did your tree command work? That's weird. Path to the bridge. Here you go. One cookie. Here you go, cookie. Zoom. Hey, do. Bounce off Jada. <laughs> Very sleepy. Oh, no problem. Hopefully, you can sleep. Oh, there, it's my mom. I forgot I needed to talk to you. Ah, there you are, Cub. I wanted to talk to you. What is it? I'm afraid there's a lot of trouble ahead of us. From what I heard from Tom, they're trying to shut down the construction. They? The Earl of Shiring. Tom is under a lot of stress. If it weren't for him, it would already be over. Why are you telling me this? Did he say something about me? No, but I know that he just can't stand to see you and Alfred arguing. Just don't see why Alfred gets to do everything he wants. Alfred is a master builder. You are an apprentice. There are rules. They may not be my rules, but they are yours. If you want to become a master builder. Mm, maybe. Don't be angry, Cobb. I'm not. Yep, everyone's all grew up. As much as I'd like to, I did promise Tom I'd only do my own carvings in the evenings. Everything all right, Jonathan? Make faces with him. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This is stupid, but I love it. <laughs> He's laughing harder every time we're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> That was fun. Kind of, he looks like a super ginger version of me. <laughs> so little things in this game, they break our hearts early and right. All right. Maybe I can come over here. Why do I have these ants? Good day, my ladies. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the grape stompers. Have you guys seen that fucking meme blooper? You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh I feel so bad, but I can't help. It makes me laugh. We can use a coin, but there's only so much pain you can take. Sooner or later, Aliena will have to look someplace else for Fullers. I will find a way to help you with your hands. Well, as a There's some ants. Then maybe you should get back to work as well. I'm just taking a break, all right? Hmm. Okay, they have trouble with their hands. So I need to build a thingy. Go to the north. I need to build a thing. I need to talk to Tom. Not yet. I want to find out about the Amores first. Ali will be pretty impressed if I find that book. Uh-huh. 
Maybe I talked to Tom about building a thing. Hmm. Nice Citric! I hope you sleep well. Hmm, they have maybe I can Fuck. Okay, uh What if I do this? No no! Oh. Maybe one day we could build a mill that will do a fulling motion. Hmm. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Ah, but then the fullers would be out of a job. But they were complaining about their hands, and there is probably other work for them. And Ali and Martha could sell even more cloth and save money on the fulling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't do it today, but hell, I have to try to build a fulling mill. Hell yeah, dude. Big brains! Okay, where are we going? Um, I will build a fulling mill. I need to get out of here. Okay, where is um? I guess we'll go to the monastery. Philip. Stonemasons. Market. Cloth. None of these are helpful. Hello? Hello, Milius. Jack. A and Jonathan. This is not the best of times. What's up? Brother Cuthbert could have been a little more careful in storing the apples down here. Oh, shit. I'm sure it's fine, Brother Andrew. Are we gonna run out of food? I am not so sure. Even the salt is damp. Oh, man. Cuthbert knew what he was doing. Did he? What is Brother Andrew up to? We will get a new cellar as soon. Andrew is preparing everything. Maybe they should get a new kitchener as well. Why? If what Cuthbert did was not good enough, then what I can do can't be much better. Cuthbert knew so much more than I did. Oh, did he die? One. Two. I am look the kitchen is not the best. We should <laughs> try the scriptor the scriptorium. The scriptorium, that's right. Master just to get into the prior's house. Three, that's fine. Whatever. Four. The fullers have trouble with their hands. Of course they have. It's worse than salting fish. Oof. What can we do about it? Do you think there's a remedy? Your mother should know. She knows okay. all about herbs. Let's go talk to mom. Too. What about you? I don't know much about herbs. I still haven't got around <sighs> to start a garden. I don't know if I'll ever be able to start it without Cuthbert's help. Well, I'll ask Mother then. She's probably at the small clearing by the river. Yeah. Hey, you want some ants? Better not. I don't want to disturb him. I zoomed. What? What can the ants be used for? Hey, Mom. The fullers down in Kingsbridge are having trouble with their hands. I'm not surprised. I could only do it for a few days, even though Aliena paid well. Here, take this. King Nettle, if I find a mortar, I can make a bomb for the fuller. Ouch! Yeah. Stinging Nettle. <laughs> yes. And you need to crush it with a pestle and mortar, and then make a balm from it. Cuthbert had a mortar, I think. God the fuller's hands will improve for a while. But only for a while. If they want to stop their hands from suffering, they need to stop fulling. Maybe you're right. Thank you. Okay. I need to go get... some mortar. Pestle and mortar. Oh, God! Scared me. 
Yuri with the fat bitties. Then they go for the bitties. Oops. Completely missed. Land, land right on Mama's feet. She'll wake up and she'll have a, a pile. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. Hey, I need. Do I smell nettle? Uh huh? Oh, yes. I want to make a barb. Mm -hmm. Mother said nettle barb would help ease the fuller's rough and cracked hands. That is good of you, Jack. You could use Cuthbert's mortar yes, thank over you. there on the table. He would have been happy to see that someone is putting it to good use. Ah, oh, my jaws are like Stick. killing me right now for some reason. Now, let's see. Here we go. Yes. A little more. Good. Did it. And now, uh, what? Milius? Ha! <laughs> hey, I got this crushed stuff. What do, do I do with it? To make a bar? Indeed. All it takes is some hot fat and beeswax. Ah, oh, thank you. Thanks, dude. Hell yeah! Let's go get you us know, a book. You really wouldn't make a bad monk, Jack. What, me? <laughs> I think that would be a problem. Why? You can read, you know about herbs, and you are good company. <laughs> Is this supposed to be wine? <laughs> what? Here, in the corner. No, it's vinegar. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> It's vinegar. That shouldn't be here. What was Cuthbert thinking? Oh, Lord. Give me the strength to endure this without chasing Brother Andrew from my kitchen. <laughs> I don't think I would Jack's make a good mouth Why not? Philip thinks so, too. He told me. Never mind, wife. No, I don't want to shave need my head. To come around and talk to you, right? That is true. And I think I should get back to work soon. Thank you for your help. My friends. I want to pet the pig. I have no idea what these ants are for. Hmm, they have problems with their hands and yeah. feet. Maybe I can... Try this. Whenever did you find the time to make a bomb, handsome Jack? <gasps> That's a villain. Don't you have work to do? Who would I be if I could just pass by ladies in need? <laughs> Does that mean you'll join us and do some filling? Nah, I'm good. I have my own work to do, so that won't work, I'm afraid. Yeah, but oh, I don't also have the weird, like, hair growing around it. I shaved my whole head. Do. I don't like putting that a cup on the works. like head. It's My like a reverse bull cut. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, ladies. I did it. All right. Now what? Uh. Who would want ants? Oh, they. They would only uh, cackle at me. Eliana's house, road to the north. Shit, dude. I need to get to the scriptorium. You don't have to ask the head shaving, right? Oh, what's going on here? Front of the cathedral. Hey, buddy. No garden this time around, huh? Cemetery. Oh, what's going on here? 
sleeping entrance firehouses arguing workers hey chill out the mortar won't complain if it has to wait oh. till I'm done with me I need to smack that wasp nest well the mortar won't but I will what's the problem I'm taking me well deserved break well deserved you deserve a good kick in your lazy drunk better a drunk than a bearded bastard uh. come on then kick me show me what you got Please, this is leading nowhere. Think for a moment what other people would do. Normal people. What? Who? Tom Builder. Sure, I don't know. Uh, Tom Builder. Now, he's a hard worker, isn't he? True, he's a hard worker, that he is. But also the man knows how to take a break. And he knows when to give others room for a break. This is not your break. You've been taking a shit for half a day and used up yours. Now don't you start and ruin mine too. Uh, oh, wow. Look at them go. When I take a break, you take one too. Has your wife been cooking again, eh? <laughs> go, dare you. Go, drink yourself to death. Well, I made that worse. Uh, oh, the prior. Oh, yes. The prior Philip's not running around drunk now, is he? No, he's not. And I'm not either. I'm sitting. <laughs> and there's my problem right there. Get up and push, Philip Wood. No, he wouldn't. A break is like a Sunday. It's a sin to work on a Sunday. Oh, God. Well, that's true. It's not a Sunday. But it's my break. I knew it was going to be an other people one. Alfred Brown. Uh. Jack Jackson? Who dat? Is that me? Oh, God. Ah, Jack Jackson. Who said? Never heard that name. He's gonna make That's up a story. Me. I thought you were Jack Builder. Well, I don't know what to make of you, to be honest. Shouldn't you be working? You're just running about everywhere. You never get anything. <laughs> At least don't keep us from working, thank you very much. Oh, forget it. Yeah, fuck these guys. That's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna knock over this wasp nest. Oh yes. <laughs> right next to it. Oh shit! I'm on a timer. I need to do. Just realized that. that. I better not get too. Complain when you've disappeared for the better part of the morning. Oh, oh you can miss. do it multiple times. Okay. You, that's none of your business. Before him, not a single fort remains. I think that was all. Hell yeah, I got them all. Get to work. No. Oh, I talked to this. Hello, Cuthbert. I hope you're happy wherever you are. What do you mean, wherever he is? He's lying right there. I made sure his wait for Judgment Day is comfortable. Philip thinks we might uh, go to heaven when we die. No. We lie in wait till Judgment Day. That's why I want someone good to bury me, to make sure I lie well. <laughs> I hope you will remember your promise that you will bury me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that was that was a long time ago. <laughs> My first night in the Priory. I'll bury you, Brother Arnaldus. Don't worry. Thank you. And thank you for looking after Cuthbert. 
That's where uh, ooh, ooh. died in the first weeks of 1141. It had been a harsh winter in the days before his death. He had complained that he had trouble breathing and was suffering from pain in his chest. He instructed Milius to find him a herb called Mary's Tears. The tea he made from, or the tea he made from the herb, seemed to help for a few hours. But the same night, Cuthbert's fever got worse and his breathing shallow. Milius stayed with him and talked. Milius stayed. Oh my God. Milius stayed with him and talked to him until he fell asleep. The next morning, he did not wake again. When Cuthbert died, he was sixty-eight years old. That's old for back then. 58 years of his life he had spent in Kingsbridge. There was not one old enough to remember the day he had come to the Priory. Cuthbert had never talked about his family, but to most monks he had been like a father, and to Jonathan and grandfather, and to, and to Jonathan and grandfather, which had given Cuthbert great joy during the last years of his life. May he rest in peace. Should I talk to them about the book? You must be joking. Come on. Go away, angry worker. What's up, Remedius? And they just angry. Is it gonna let me in here? Don't be distracted by what is going on outside. I have to solve that, I best no, no, guess. No, 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 Is he gonna let me in? There it goes. The two have been quarreling the whole morning. I wonder what their problem is. <clears throat> what are you doing in the scriptorium? I wanted to have a look at your books. Is that so? No. Uh, the kid. Is the work of a scribe not to copy text and scripture? It is, Sir Prior Remedius. Yes, Sir Prior Remedius. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sir Prior Remedius. And is it not the task of illuminators to illuminate these texts with pictures and color? It is, Sir Prior Remedius. Yes, Sir yes, Prior Remedius. And what do you think is the work of Jack, the apprentice of Tom Builder? Build? Working on the construction He's carving site. statues and They're ornaments. Building things? I think. I'm not exactly sure what it is either, but it is not distracting our scribes and uh. I do not know what Prior Philip yes, sees you in you, Jack. You guys, an asshole. Go back to your work and do not disturb us again. Ah. Uh. Okay, how do I get those dudes to fucking stop? You shut up. And you, don't be distracted. No, 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 I'm not joking. Okay. I I doubt that. Fuck, this is gonna take forever. I think I know who might be a shining inspiration for both of you. Uh, this is gonna take forever. Alfred Builder. Oh, he's a good example. He's a master builder now. But he likes his beer, doesn't he? No, oh, yes, he does. But he's always sober when he's working. Always. You know, maybe I should be a bit Oh my god, it worked. Alfred Builder. Me too. You have got to be kidding Really? Me. Well, yeah, see, I'm equally shocked, Jack. No. I'm not done with me break yet. Fuck. Alfred Builder would know when his break is up. Alfred Builder were no one to shut the hell up. Uh, I doubt he would. God damn it. Oh, okay. The Earl of Shiring. Uh, which one? Hm. Earl Bartholomew or the fat one? <laughs> the new one. <gasps> the new one. Percy Hamley. You don't know the name of our Earl? He's not my Earl. I'm from Earl's Castle. Bartholomew was my earl, and a great man. 
But he's dead now, isn't he? Gone. You should know the name of your new Earl. What? The fat one? Percy Hamley. You know what? I refuse to remember that name. What? Why? For spite. It wasn't right what he did to my Earl. You know what? What you're doing isn't right either. I refuse to remember your name as well. You wouldn't dare. Already did it. Ugh. This is a pain in the ass. What about King Stephen? Now, that is a man who sits a lot. How would you know? He's got a throne. He's the king. Of course he's got a throne. And he's sitting on it. He's got a throne. Of course the man knows how to sit. Oh, like you, you mean? Mm. Yeah, like me on me well-deserved break. Or you on yours when you're sitting on the shitter for half a day. <laughs> I was not. I heard you farting from here. <laughs> you think I want to shit for half a day? You think that? Well, you better think again. Think again. That okay? I'm gonna throw ants at them. Brother Arnaldus, the sleepy good dude over there. Example, indeed. That poor man is as good as dead. What's your excuse for lying around in the cemetery? Hi, Taylor. What are you doing? What's your excuse for having a beard like a bear's arse? Get back to work! Never! And stop yelling! Never! Oh my god, this is getting annoying. The sub prior. Oh, don't get me started. Watch, it's not even going to be an option in here right now. He is a hard working man. He is. And don't you doubt it. What? That he is a hard working man. Who? Subprime Remedius, you fool! Oh, what? what? How dare they? Oh my goodness! How dare you? All right, fucking kids, go in there. That works. Shouting word. in the cemetery like heathens. But we... I... Uh, silence! <sighs> Do you have any idea how hard the work of a sub I, we don't, is? I don't care about you. How Let me get in your scriptorium. Painful work it takes to teach our novices, our monks. And you dare call me a fool. We didn't. No. Silence, I say. I will think of a way Let me to sneak make out. you to understand the kind of behavior I expect in this priory. I think they'll be busy for a while. Yes, let me in. We place our trust in you. Thank God. I'm looking for a book. I'm looking for a book by Ovid. Oh, we saw some in Shiring and in Winchester. There are also a few copies in Southby, I believe. Which ones are you looking for? The Amores? Have you heard of that? Ah, uh, he's that blushing. He totally has. I think. Did you read it? Me? Yeah, he's I, blushing. I, I don't remember. He did. Just a page or two. Sounds like the right book. And Winchester's not far. I should tell Ali what I found out. Okay, thank God. What is it that you're working on? I'm copying pages of the book Prior Philip wrote. We finished the original last year. I didn't know he wrote a book. Not many know of it. The content is... He's critical of the church and bishops. After his experience with Bishop Waylaren, he studied about what he calls Eudicia Clary. Eudicia Clary? The judgments of the clergy? Yes. Hmm. In the past, there were many cruel tests that were made to discover whether a man was guilty or not. 
the Lord was to judge them. These ordeals were called Eudicium Dei, the judgment of God. Some had to hold burning iron in their bare hands. Others were drowned. Some were burned on the pyre. And if they were innocent, God would save them. There'd be no martyrs if that were true. Even Adolphus would have been saved. Yes. God works in mysterious ways. The prior wants these horrible ordeals to become a thing of the past, for cruelty only leads to more cruelty. But I heard of miracles. Saints that survived burnings. True. However, Prior Philip believes these were not judgments of God, but judgments of the clergy. You did she a clary. Yes! Stories and fake ordeals to redeem friends and allies of the clergy. Fake miracles by the church. Mm. Ooh, that sounds like Philip is asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. Whoever is accused of fakery and heresy will not be likely to respond well to that. But we believe Philip is right. This is the second millennium. We must finally learn from past mistakes. Written in Latin. Philip's book is copied by the scribes and illuminators of Kingsburton and has found its way into the larger libraries of England and Normandy. It's mostly read in the higher circles of the clergy because its content is of complicated and delicate nature. In his book, Philip writes critically about ordeals by fire, water, and other means. For centuries, the official purpose of these ordeals was to decide, was to decide whether a man or a woman is guilty or not. According to the clergy, if someone was not guilty, he or she will be prior Philip, or he or she will be saved from God, by God from, from a cruel and certain death. Prior Philip writes, the Lord simply cannot be summoned by man, not even the Pope. Past judgment, man must serve the Lord, and the Lord does not serve man. Exactly! Oh, Philip, you genius. Philip believes that miracles that have happened during these ordeals were nothing but lies to protect and exonerate members and allies of the clergy. Enemies of the clergy, on the other hand, were killed or seriously hurt in disgrace. Furthermore, Philip's writes that the suffering of the martyrs of the past proves that God is not simply saving people from burning or drowning. According to Philip, these ordeals must be stopped at all costs. Hell yeah. We take you in. And this is how you thank us. I have no idea what to do with these ants, dude. I guess we'll go talk to the stonemasons. Maybe there's something over here. Hey, Jack, how did you like the stone I picked for your core? Mm, I like it. You were right. Now I only need to get better at carving. Well, give it time, Jack. You'll get there. Now, better get back to work. Who knows how long we can still work here. Mm. Uh, What's wrong? Fulling the wool is hard work, isn't it? Backbreaking. That's why we don't have much cloth to sell. At least they sell well. Why do you ask? I thought I had an idea. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I can't the grease and the dirt from the wool <sighs> takes hours. And there must be an easier way to do the fulling. I wish there was. Oh, hello again. Didn't you want to talk to Aliena? Maybe. I need to go. See you around, Jack. Okay. Where's Alina again? She can still be where I left her? No, she's not there. Is she? Okay, uh, I don't know where she went. Hmm. He's teaching the novice about the... I better not do... 
Okay, maybe I'll go back to her house. Come on, Jonathan. Let's tell Ali what I found out. Whoa! Cat! No, you can't see it. Well, no, you can. Cat. Pet. Oh, that would have been great. About time Stephen kicked those bastards out of Lincoln Castle. About damn time. The whole of England is strangled by new taxes and torn apart by this senseless quarrelling. You're right, of course, Lady Aliena. Wise words, like your father's. It's just Aliena. No, no it is not. Your father was the Earl of Shire. I will fight for King Stephen to restore his title for the son you will one day bear. I know I agreed that you'd fight for the king in my name, but must it always be such a costly undertaking? <laughs> I want to die while fucking, not because I went to battle carrying a blunt sword. If you die, it will be because you've drunk yourself to death. <laughs> that may very well be, my lady. Oh, now you broke it, Jonathan. <laughs> There's someone at the door. I'll be right back. Oh. Go play. Go play. <laughs> Jack. Hey. So. Yes. What brings you here? I have information on the book. I missed you. Uh, I... It's awkward. Everything all right there? Uh, yes, it will just take a minute. Sorry, Sir Catface is waiting. He has to ride back to Shiring soon. Ah, I see. All right. I just wanted to tell you that I found out about the book. What book? Oh, Ovid. You were still looking for that. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I, it just feels like there are so many problems right now at the construction site. That reminds me. Could you tell Philip that I've come up with an idea how he can pay the workers? Mm hmm? Oh. Uh, how? I'll buy up all of his wool and sell it on the fleece fair myself. But I need to go to Shiring first and get the money. Uh, all right. Um, I'll tell him. I'm an errand boy. By the way, I have a copy of the Amores in Winchester. Oh? I think I know someone who might be able to get it. But first we need to make sure Philip gets his money and talks to Percy. Who? Percy Hamley, the Earl. Percy Hamley, the cunt? And his wife, the bastard. Dang, Catface, nah, tell bastards. us how you really feel. It's all of them. I think I should be going. Ah, oh, all right. What's with the drawing right up here? Of course. Bastards. Oh boy. You're gonna have to forget that word really quick, little brother. <laughs> Now, let us return to the important matters here. That was important. Robert of Gloucester is advancing on Lincoln right now. That bastard. Tomorrow, we will ride from Shiring. And what I need from you, milady, is money for a new sword and a gambeson. I am getting fatter by the day. Is this leading anywhere, Sir Catface? You've been doing this for months now. And have you ever talked to the king about my title? About Shiring? No. Not yet. But he and I have fought side by side. I'm damn sure the king knows my name by now. And your time will come, Lady Aliena. Trust me. Oh. All right. I will meet you in Shiring 
and I'll bring the money. <laughs> Trusting a drunk man. Okay, now what? No idea what I do with these ants. Father Philip. Yes. Aliena says Ugh. you can pay your workers. She has enough money to buy up all the priory's wool and sell it in Shiring. And that way, you get your money earlier. Really? But you have to accompany her to Shiring. She has to fetch the money first. The sooner the better. I have to talk to Percy Hamley anyway. Thank you, Jack. Now you better get back to work. Tom wanted to talk to you. Oh. I'm pet the donkey. Once the west side and its towers rise above the priory, it'll be even more impressive. Only a few more years. What I'd give to build at least one of the towers. Well, let me in there. Yeah, if I talk to Tom now, he'll insist I stay at the construction site and work. That's exactly what, what he told me to do. Yeah, return to work. Jack! What's up? What? Come here, please. You wanted to finish your call bill, and I let you. Subprior me just told me you disturbed the monks in the scriptorium. Philip told me to practice reading. The Bible, not the kind of book you were looking for. Then you go and waste your time in the cemetery and the market and in the kitchen and chatting to the fullers. I made a balm for them. I wanted to help them. You should have been working instead. Don't you know how close we are to shutting down the construction? I gotta be a dick, dude. I'm if helping people here. Ahead, it would all be over now. But how am I to plan ahead if I can't rely on you, Jack? What? Watch out! Oh, shit. Whoa. <sighs> Are you all right? Yes. Up here! Hey, hurry up, quick! The fuck? <sighs> What's going on here? Your son thinks I dropped the stones. You were the one who pulled them up, weren't you? Of course. That is my job. He was probably angry because he might not get paid. Alfred, stop it. What? Peter, what happened? I I'm not sure, but there was a monk. He was wearing a black robe, and when he saw me looking at him, he ran away. Maybe it was him. A black robe? Are you saying this was my fault? No, no. I I'm sure I didn't recognize him. He wasn't from here. No. Peter dropped the I stone did? and doesn't want to admit it. I assure you, a monk would never do such a thing. I saw black monk I in the... I don't believe him. I don't remember that. Alfred is wrong. I can't click either of those. What about the monk? I couldn't click them. We don't know. He didn't let me. There was a monk. <sighs> Accidents happen. That we was dumb. Check all the ropes to make sure that won't be another one. That was stupid. Uh, regarding your question concerning your brother, Francis, I forget to tell you that he has not been seen in our whatever for over five years. I believe this is due to his work for Robert Glacius. After making inquiry at Earl Robert's court, I found that his scribes were sworn to secrecy and could not answer a request. These times of war either. These times of war are times of secrecy. I have faith that your brother Francis is well and working hard to support his fight for the throne in the name of his sister Maud will be fruitful and bring an end to the anarchy. We are all aware of the wonderful work you are doing in Kingsbridge. Your Saint Adolphus is well known, even the Holy Roman Empire now. Sub Prior Sebastian Priory of Gloucester. Looks like Peter's going to be pushed off the right. What the hell happened there? I couldn't click on those, dude. Excuse me, Philip. Philip. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Is everything all right? I was just thinking about my brother. Uh, what is it? Aliena is ready to go to Shiring with you. Then I must not keep her waiting. I 
Maybe I hit a bug or something. Because I, I don't remember seeing a, a black hooded figure, and I don't remember what the other option was, but I don't remember that either. Or er, Alfred is lying, but I didn't have proof of it. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to get options there. As we rode, Aliena expressed relief that Percy Hamley held court in Shiring Town during the Fleece Fair, and not in her father's castle. I had not yet confessed to Aliena that I blamed myself for her father's fate. I felt the guilt and shame starting to rise when we came to a large group of peasants looking as desperate as the refugees that had come from Earl's Castle back then. Philip stopped to talk to the peasants, and so did I. Of course he couldn't pass by people in need of help. Not even when he was on his way to try and save Kingsbridge from another attack by the Hamleys. Two of the peasants broke into tears and begged for food. Philip was mortified as they grabbed the hem of his robe and pleaded for mercy. They said they were from Wigley. They had illegally erected a mill and hadn't paid taxes to the Earl of Shiring for grinding flour. I bit my lip when they mentioned the titles that used to belong to my father. As punishment, the Earl had destroyed their mill. Philip seemed unsure what to say about Percy Hamley's punishment for these peasants. I was less hesitant. Earl has you so, so understanding. Yeah, why is that one automatically highlighted? I asked why they'd built an illegal mill. The peasants told us that milling taxes had doubled in their village. The peasants shouted and cried that the Earl had also burnt their fields, destroyed their houses, and taken their livestock from them. A few of them have Fucking... even been killed. This is what rich people do they nowadays. To go to like, for do you not realize if you As give these people on, means to live and survive, you make more money? To lose hope that he but if you burn their shit, the Earl in you keep them... Like, without, like, just grasping for scraps? Oh my god, it's so fucking stupid. It's it's literally the analogy that I think of is... You can ask, like, people, like, would you rather have the most expensive house in the worst neighborhood or the least expensive house in the best neighborhood? And those people are the former. It was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm better than everyone around me. It's like, yeah, but you're literally living in, like... A cardboard box it's technically the best house in this neighborhood but you're barely better yeah but i'm better off than all of them it's, you fucking idiots like or you have the worst house in the best neighborhood that's still technically a mansion it's just not the 40 billion dollar mansion it's a hundred million dollar mansion oh no fucking assholes I had never trusted the Hamleys, but it seemed I had grown careless over the years. They had thus far kept their word to King Stephen, but now I felt I should have known that they would eventually break it. As I was thinking these grim thoughts, we passed by a gallop of two men dangling by their necks. An old woman stood by one of the corpses and snarled at us. Oh, that scared me for a second. Sure, let's talk to the old lady. The old woman looked at us like a cornered animal. Philip demanded to know what had happened. She cackled yeah, and she's shook her head. She continued shaking him down. looking through the dead men's clothes. She'd already taken off their shoes and found a couple of coins on one of the corpses. Only now I realized that someone had tied foxtails to the corpses. Their hands had been cut off and their faces were burnt. Why would they do the foxtails? Stealing from the dead, eh? I confronted the old woman and called her a thief. The old woman cackled and said there is nothing wrong in taking from dead thieves. When Philip told her it was still a sin, she became serious and gave him the coins. She told him that these men were poachers who were caught by the Earl's men hunting in his forests. Philip rode on, and when I caught up with him, I could see that now, more than ever, he was determined to talk to Percy Hamley. Aliena rode by my side without knowing that I had long been responsible for her family's fate. 
ever since I had made the mistake of trusting Waleran by God. I felt like a fly in a cobweb. Every move I made seemed to lead to further calamities. But then I heard Aliena as she sped past me. Shiring, she exclaimed. There we go. Oh my god. I did my best to finish my corbel. With Ellen's and Millie's support, you managed to help the Fullers? Hell yeah. After Richard's death, Sir Catface is trying to reclaim the earldom for Aliena. Sucks. He could have lived. You visited Cuthbert and told Brother Alnala she will bury him. You destroyed all three wasp nests. Yay. You came up with a brilliant idea for fulling a mill. Go me. But that rent a little bit longer than I expected. Oh, goodness. Um, let's see. If my friend is still streaminating, maybe we can go send them some love. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, my friends. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Mute. There we go. Mutage. Ooh, I gotta pee. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, I'm not seeing. Oh crap! What's her full name? Hold on. Let's see. Oh my god, she gained like 50 followers. Hell yeah! Oh, she was doing a Q and A session. Well, okay, yeah. Well, she's not streaming anymore. All right, let's see. Uh, maybe we can go raid someone else. Let's go raid Gimmick. Oh, uh, wait. Did she just log off? Okay, that was weird. Uh, we'll go raid Gimmick. She's a lovely bean. She's uh, popped in here a few times. You guys know how this works. Let's get your raid messages out and ready. Let's go send her some love. She's got a wonderful community over there. We love hanging out with her. So get you guys ready. Hopefully, guys, I see you guys soon. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt a shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you guys next time. Keep mamas in your thoughts and send her good energy. We have to take her in and get into the vet tomorrow as well as Monday. Um, so send all good energies that you can muster away and uh i will catch you guys next time see us